What up, it's DJ EFN. It's Military Crazy Raw, Drink Champs, Yappy Hour. Make hey. some noise! Hey. Now, this guest here is a repeat offender. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he has been on he's here. A masochist when Every he, time when he's he come on here, we have a great interview. It doesn't matter if he drink, smoke, whatever. He's a uh, he's we we I found out I think it's three hundred million or something that he's he's out here. Um, uh, one of the greatest catalogs ever in hip hop. Every time he comes here, he starts controversy. We're we, we gonna we're gonna keep it light. He's not drinking. I'm not drinking. But we're gonna still have fun. In case you don't know, one of the best executives in hip hop ever to live. Yes. Motherfucking Earth Guy. Yes. 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 So how you doing, Irv? I'm hearing about this movie. What is this movie? Tell us what it's about. Well, mm -hmm. that was why I, I sold my masters. So mm. let me backtrack. Okay, cool. I had a I had a plan, mm -hmm. you know. And mm -hmm. uh, I was basically, I said, I'm gonna sell my past. To invest in my future. Mm. So it's the masters, not the publishing. A lot of people thought it was publishing. I sold everything. He no, sold you, everything. Damn, you sold the publishing too. God damn, let's make some noise. <laughs> <laughs> I sold the pub. I sold producer royalties mm. and my masters, which is the biggest mm. part of it. Right. And uh, I think it, like I was just saying, Evan, like I started a trend after right. I sold my shit. I just start. I start seeing everyone selling. Yeah, every three hundred sold theirs. Well, I'm not going to say 300 follow my trend because Leo is a greedy bastard. You know, right. you know he started 300, what, five years No, I thought Leo got out of that already. He went to Google. So that was like Kevin and Julie, the, uh, the other 300. Was it? Was that? No? Nah, it was Leo. Leo still involved? God damn, let's make some noise for that. Still getting that money, goddamn. God damn, God damn. Yeah, Leo, uh -huh. Leo uh, sold for 400. I'm, uh -huh. I'm quite sure Leo got the bulk of that for. So they sold 300 for 400. Yes, that's it. <laughs> but I didn't. I feel I didn't have an effect on Leo because he's okay. doing what he's doing. But you know, all of the other artists, the Futures, the mm -hmm. Justin Bieber, and mm -hmm. I think they looked at me and they was like, "Wow, how much money he got? A hundred? Right. See what we can get." <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you come up and grow up in the hood, a hundred is a hundred, y'all. Yeah, but I, nobody I, can relate to a hundred in the hood, though, Gotti. Yeah, but <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Right, a <laughs> hundred. Right, even more. But if you're from the hood and you get presented a hundred, right. it's hard for you not to. Of course, gives a fuck about the nostalgic and it, I don't give a fuck. Right. Yeah, that's a hundred. <laughs> right, 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 right. Like my mom's <laughs> and my whole family is good. How does this work? They give you the whole hundred, like after you sign. It's like, hey, here you go. Yeah, the whole hundred. I mean, I'm and sure it's all negotiable, but you probably like, yeah. You, you didn't want that shit broken up. So you can fuck that. Give me the whole hundred. And they, he's like the lot of them. Give it all at once. A, a two hundred million line of credit. Oh yeah, I remember you saying. Wow. That. Because uh, the guy Ben Ben Fishberg, mm -hmm. he's a big executive at Pimco. Pimco is a like a trillion dollar company, mm. and. Pimco? Pimco. P I M O C O. Oh. Okay. Get to know them. They mm -hmm. they got bread. Mm -hmm. They got like mm -hmm. unreal bread. Okay. And the guy Ben took a liking to me. Mm -hmm. He just took a liking to me and we would go to lunch and things. So he was like, Why are you selling your thing? He says, if you don't mind me asking. I said, Well, I want to make movies. Mm -hmm. I want to make, I want to start a new catalog. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mm -hmm. want to do more soundtracks, mm -hmm. new artists, mm -hmm. 
So it's not like I'm retiring. I want to do other things, and this money will help. He said, well, you ain't got to spend your money. He said, huh. he's like, I'll give you the money. Right. For the movies or for the catalog? For whatever. Wow. Because it's the line of credit that's to invest in wow. all these projects. Wow. So he put up, like, when he told me it was funny, he said, yeah, we're a $2.5 trillion company. I said, excuse me. So you was at the Illuminati meeting when you met him? <laughs> Where'd you meet him at? I don't know. <laughs> Go down yeah, I'll, fuck I'll fuck with you. Where do you meet guys like this, guy? You know, where do you, like... Well, <laughs> Olivier Chastin, who bought my masters with my kind of class, he put me with him. Mm. And again, he just took a liking to me. Right. Like, Ben is my man. I right. ain't letting that... I ain't letting them go. Right. 2.5 trillion company. I said, Ben, uh, excuse me, did you say... The T word. The T. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He didn't say the B. He was like, "Yeah, we yeah. two point five trillion. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. yeah, they got it. Uh. <laughs> yeah, they got it. But they don't want to invest in companies. They don't take risk. All right. So he's a company like I'm doing some shit with Leo on YouTube. Some major shit. Okay. So he says, you know, if you get it with Leo. And they'll guarantee a hundred million. I'll give you a hundred million, but he needs a reputable company to like give me a licensing deal, guaranteeing that they I'm gonna make this money. Like evaluation type of thing. Right. So so, you know, I told him. I said, Joe, usually once a year. I said, man, a hundred million in a year. I said, I need more time. He said, I don't, I don't know. He said, you want two, three, three years? He said, we do it. Oh. But he said, if I get Leo to do it. I signed it. He said, I'll give you the money tomorrow. Wow. Ah. So they don't risk no money. All right. So understand what I'm saying. Once Leo, if Leo was to sign that deal, they'll give me $100 million knowing YouTube is the cash cow and going to generate the money and pay them back. Yeah. The thing I'm doing with Leo is, a, is major. That's why, I came, that's why I came up here. All right. I got All right. some... Like mind-boggling major shit. Okay, so it's not just a movie, because let's, let's let's finish up with the movie before we bounce around. Right. So you 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 sold the publishing, you sold your masters, right. and now you're getting into the movie. This is your first feature film that I wrote, okay. directed, produced, and paid for. And paid for. God damn and it. it's a hip hop movie, so all my hip hop niggas, y'all gonna love it. Right. It's it's really a good movie, and it's for the hip hop culture. Right. Yeah, I made it. Right. And when does it drop? It drops uh, October 6th, tentatively, Ooh. October 6th. And what I also did, when I made the movie, I said, fuck it. I'm going to cast a brand new person. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because I like doing that, putting mm. these on and shit. So when I went to cast a new person, the idea hit me, yo, I should film it. Hmm. Film you casting a new person. Okay. The competition and the right. guy wow. beating the competition, getting the role, and then behind the scenes making the film. Is that the BT thing you was doing? Like, um, um, I know you auditions. Were, I know you were BT now. But. No, 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 no. I'm just, no, we just cool. No, no, we cool. BT. Like, oh, word, why? What the fuck? Oh, we gonna edit this part. <laughs> don't edit. It. Okay, all right, don't edit. <laughs> I Scott Mills don't like black people. Oh shit, you on some Kanye West shit. <laughs> oh shit. Let me rephrase. <laughs> Scott Mills don't like hood niggas, uh, young hip hop niggas, black people. No, nah, that's a that's a white guy at BET? I don't know. He's a black guy, but I say okay. he's the whitest black guy ever in okay. existence. But Tyler Perry came and took over though. Madea is running this place. Did that happen officially already? Yeah, Madea running the spot. I mean, he he generates and makes all the money. Okay. Yeah. Wow. But, uh, but I thought tell I could I could honestly say that Scott Mills got me up out of BET. Meaning he got me up out of there. Like said, get get get, get IG up he out just, of there. He just shut down my shit. Wow. Wow. He don't like young niggas like me. Ah. No college education and shit. He frowns upon niggas like me. Wow. So, you know, that's why I got removed from BET. But it's so crazy because God works in such a great way that it was a blessing. Why? Because I'm going to start my own network. Mm. Culture TV. Mm. I wish Drink Champ should be on Culture TV. Hey, man. You know, <laughs> the, hey, man. <laughs> 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 
Hey, hey, I said the same thing to Killer. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Said, him and Mace, it is. Yeah. I said, man, I get this network, man. Y'all niggas need to be with Culture TV. Uh -huh. So really the concept of Culture TV is... Think of CBS, ABC, NBC. Uh -huh. It's a 24-hour network. Uh -huh. And uh, it's going to have a newscast. Uh -huh. but it's going to be all hip-hop people. You should have a handball show. Jim Jones. Jim Jones will probably be the weatherman. Uh -huh. Right? Uh -huh. And uh, I got a... You know, judge, judge shows are very popular. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I want a judge show with Redman. Oh, fire. Imagine Redman. I can see that. Redman, can see that. Can see imagine that. Redman is the judge. Yeah, I can see that. You and your stinking asses get the yeah, fuck out yeah, of here. I, like that. That. I can see that. You know, just making a great network that caters to uh -huh. us. Uh -huh. And, you know, that's what I got to talk to Leo about. Leo loved it. So, a 24 hour show, is this, is this 24 hours? Network. Be, a network. Oh, network. I'm yeah. sorry, um, And it's competing with BET, MTV, VH1, Viacom, yeah, that I'm, type of I'm shit. Kill them. Okay, you're going to kill them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, when you look at BET, I, I think Drink Champs is the only thing that. They have on there that really. No, we're not we're, on we're revolt. We're on revolt. Let's make some noise for Black. But we got we got a couple deals to BT though. We, we, did we love hip hop on BT. No, 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 no. I did love hip hop on Viacom. Uh, uh, well, that was BT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, 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 oh, no, VH1. Breakfast Club. Yeah, Breakfast Club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They ain't they ain't let me back. I, I, but it was VH1 or BT. It was uh, one of them shits. <laughs> yeah, I raped the budget. They said no more. <laughs> no more. No more. I'm not here to be friends. You know what I mean? I'm not here to be friends with them. But um, ah. Uh, Let's bounce around a little bit, right? I know this is some crazy shit. You might not be ready for this. But they recently discovered that aliens is coming to Earth. Like, aliens actually exist. Well, they didn't discover it. They've supposedly been here. Aliens actually is this. IG, if the alien come down right now and say to you, what's, I want to understand human behavior. One album. What is a one album that you would give to an alien that came down that said, I want, I want to know a human, well, one album. One album. You got to give them. Damn. I was ill, I made that up. One album is difficult yeah. to do that with one album. Yeah, just one album. Yo, man, come on, what the fuck? I mean, X, X for sure is dark and hell is hot. hot. But they all come from different perspectives, so it depends on the perspective that he wants. All right, the alien is just like, nigga, I just want to know about human nature. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. <laughs> came down for 50 years ago. Yeah. yeah, yeah, 50 years ago. Yeah, but, he but, one but album. X is gritty human nature. Yeah, but... You know, Jay but is... But you can only pick one. Jay is for, like for the good life human nature. Mm. So, you, so, you, so you can't pick... Depends on what kind of human nature he, the alien wants. Uh, the alien just say, yo, this is, I just need one hip-hop album to make sure I can fall in love with hip-hop. Mm. Then it's probably X. Which album? It's Dark and Hell is Hot. The first one. That, that album was... A, I, the impact it had on the world, I, I couldn't believe it. Right. I couldn't fucking believe it. This shit came out. I literally would ride around Brooklyn, Bronx, Harlem, fucking thing. Everyone was playing that shit. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Because mm -hmm. I do that. Like mm -hmm. I used to do that when the album first, the first day it came out. I just ride around and see if I feel the vibe of it. All right. X, yes. <laughs> forget about it. Yeah. Every fucking single car, white people, right. black people, Spanish people. Everyone was banging that nigga shit. All right. I don't know what it was about him, but they loved that motherfucker, yo. Nah, I mean, um, you you heard Scarlet? She's dope. Nah, I haven't heard her yet. I haven't heard Scarlet. Where have you been at, Cardi? I know about. Back the fuck up. Hold on. She got a joint. Back the fuck up. I'm like, I back up. I be like, word up, girl. Like, yo, word up. Like, yo, she, she, but we're fine. It's like, it's like the female. Like, if if X, I don't want to put that pressure on her. But yeah, if, but I don't really want that from a female, so... You, you don't know till you hear it, though. Yeah. I didn't want that from a female till I heard nah, it. I was like, she's oh, dope. shit. She's, she's like, she's actually... Like, she give you that... Fit. I mean, it's, nothing could be X, right? Nothing could be X. Let's just be, let's be clear. But if you... 
would do a, a 20, 20 d version and a female it's version smart. of her. And uh, yeah, she's from the Bronx. You could just hear. You could just hear it in her, like like right, she probably was influenced. Yeah, and she's with Darren. She's yes, yes. Well, I call him D. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah she's yeah. with D, so mm -hmm. he's giving her the little nuances too. Yeah. Right. But do you think that, that that a female could fulfill that position? Not be X, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> no one could be X, man. That's not. You think any? How about this? How about this? You think any man can, can fill that position? They have a better shot than a female. Okay. Because but I don't think so, because I, X is just truly one of one. Yeah. Right. But they have a better shot than a female. Because I'll tell you this when Tupac passed away, no one thought that, but DMX is somewhat of a version of Tupac. So is Ja Rule, somewhat of a version, uh, somewhat of a version of Tupac. You think that could happen? Nobody's Pac, yeah. No, nobody's Pac. No, 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 no one's X neither. Nobody is Pac. Right. Pac. <laughs> The man seen some white people beating up a nigga. Yeah, and he shot him. Shot him. Shot them. Shot them. He shot them. He shot them. Yes, them. Yes, yes, yes. In Atlanta. All you rap niggas yeah. is not pop. <laughs> right, 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 right. Once he did that, mm -hmm. yeah, it's not close. Right, right. He, he pulls his gun out and blasts these niggas. Right. You're not pop. Right. Mm. Don't even, don't even, don't even go there. And I'm like I, I hold Pac at the highest, yeah. highest, highest regard. All right. Because of just, it's so crazy. Because when you really get into Pac, his and listen to his lyrics. I hope I die the way I live, straight thugging. He mm. died straight thugging. Mm. Right. Like the, his prophecy is retarded. Right. On the lyrics that he spoke. And how he conducted his life. His prophet. You yeah, put the yeah. fucking shit together. You like, yo, this, this nigga ain't nobody, this nigga. Right. And how much he recorded, like he knew time was coming. He was saying the yeah. shit. Right. He was saying the shit like no one's Pac. Yeah. Oh, so you ever met Pac? Nah. I never met Pac neither. Uh, nah. How about Biggie? Oh, Biggie was my man. Biggie Ice Cube. We, uh. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> what man? It's, 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 I mean, it, it's hard. <laughs> it's, it's tough to put anyone above there. Above there. Yeah, because I just, as a rap fan, that nigga was just nice. And and okay, let me stop you for one second. Not only that, at that time, New York ran the world, right? Does that? Does that? And not only that. I don't well, if you fuck about that. if you felt that energy from New York at that time, it's I understood. I understand. I understand people argument. You know, I what don't mean? give a fuck about that. I give yeah. a fuck about live from Beth Stuyvesant. The live one representing BK to the fullest. It don't rhyme, <laughs> <laughs> but it rhymed. No, but Big was just nice. Oh shit. <laughs> Yeah, the flow. Oh, it was shit. that flow. It was incredible. I never knew that. It was flowing. Yeah, oh, that flow was. Well, he live made it rhyme. Live, live as one. Live as one. Representing BK to the fullest. Yeah, that's the fullest. Okay, yeah, after that, it was the rhyme. He was in a different pocket. In the pocket. Uh -huh. In my bath for fucking, it ain't nothing. Uh -huh. He was just in the studio going. But I'm yet to see anyone like that. Right. Nah. Like I don't. that. The flow, the cadence, the breath control. That nigga was ridiculous to me. Right. Like he was ridiculous. I remember him at a party like he and was, bullshit. He was nicer lyrically and, mm. and on the mic to meet in Pac. Pac was just different because he was the realest nigga right. ever created. Right. Which made him, to me, the top, top nigga. Right. You can't say all the shit these. Hope I die the way I live, straight thugging. This nigga died stomping out a gangbanger and then got blasted. He thugging. This nigga's the biggest rapper in the world. What the fuck are you doing stomping out? And he's with Chrissy Jones' daughter. He's wilder. Right? That's who he was with yeah, that day, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he, that was his he's girl, he was Where's he engaged, I think? This nigga was on the streets for real. Yeah. Yeah, but he, 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 Pac is, Pac is Pac. Right. But big, you got to be big though. Yeah, he said yeah. I was on tour with Big. Me, Mike Geronimo, Big, Craig Mack. Crazy. He was Mike Geronimo DJ. 
And I put the nigga on. I was, I, I'm, not, I'm asking you at the time. Come on, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> calm down. We know <laughs> where this is going. We don't want to go there. We you don't want to go there. Hey, even even when Jay and Dame is like, yo, Gotti's our DJ. I was way more than a fucking DJ. But ain't nothing wrong with the DJ now. Come on. No, there's okay. nothing wrong with the DJ, but I was way more than right. a nigga playing records and keeping it together. All right. I put their whole plan together. All right. You talking about Rockefeller? Yes. Because Dane said you fucked everything up. Did you hear him say that on the internet? I don't listen to Dame. <laughs> <laughs> does anyone listen to Dame anymore? The internet does. He's, he's lit on the internet. Yeah, he's lit on the internet? Yeah. Good for him. Yes. Good for him, but... I don't. I don't give a fuck about what Dame Dash says. But y'all was all right. Y'all was all like together. What? what, what Chimbaye. Yeah. Chimbaye. I don't yes. like that no more. Upper oh, echelon had to move on. I mean, I'm. I fucks with Jay. I fucks with Biggs. You know, Dame just has his certain ways and certain things, and it's all good. He doesn't call your culture vulture. I can't be called a culture vulture. I am the culture, yeah. <laughs> but I heard what he said. He was yeah. like, oh, he has this fucking Gotti. Let me just explain that situation. Okay, cool. Okay. Jay makes. Take over. Nas drops. Ether. Let me probably slow you down. Were you in the studio when Jay made take over? Or no? No. Okay, so you get to hear it afterwards. This is hot. Uh, let's let's be clear. The first time we heard Takeover was Hot 97 Summer Jam. Uh, this was, I believe, the same German jam that he brought out Michael Jackson in, right? right. And then in between, I, I could be a little bit off about something. And then he said, Tell Nas, we don't want it with hoes. And no one actually thought that that was a record. People thought it was a freestyle. And then the record drops. I mean, Jay had what Jay felt was a super card. Right. The ace in the hole. His ace in the hole was, right. I'm fucking your bitch. Right. And the Joker. That's the Joker. The ace in the hole was... So he thought, that's why he's like, yeah, he was, he wanted it. Right. Jay's, Jay's, Jay's a bastard. All right. He wants to be number one. All right. So he gonna pick a fight or whatever because he wants everyone to know, nigga, you not me. All right. All right, so boom, Ether fucks the whole shit up, right? right. <laughs> Fuck Jay Z, what the hell is Ether? That record to this day is like, uh -huh. I don't know what mindset. I was in the club with Nas the other day, and it came on. We both put our head down. <laughs> So we didn't hard. want nothing to do with it. Like, you heard us. So hard. Heard us. I was like, I, I did it. I see his head down. I was like, oh, no, shit. No, no. That's but, like, you know, like, so, yeah. Kid you not, man. That record is so mm -hmm. hard, you mm -hmm. know? Right. Like, he told me, though, I think his mother died. Mm. When mm -hmm. Jay came at him, mm -hmm. he was dealing with his mother dying. Mm -hmm. Damn. So I think uh, that kind of helped. Helped it. Fuel right. that monumental record. Right. Yeah. And uh, so Ether comes out. So I'm in my office. Okay. And it's you who called Jay or Jay called you? No. This is, let me explain. Okay, it. cool. I'm in my office. I'm minding my business. This nigga Jay is in my office every day. How many seven Battle of the Beats? This happens yet? No. No. Okay. Yeah. Wait, that, yeah, that happened. Yeah, because that's when people declared that Nas won. No, no, that didn't happen because okay. it happened with Super Ugly. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. So the nigga is in my office every day. Now, if you know Jay, Jay isn't the type of dude that's going to openly ask for help or uh. openly ask for anything. So every day. So by the third day, mm. I'm like, what's up? I hit him. I'm like, what's up, nigga? We was fucking with you. was bothering you. He said, yeah, got it. Oh, shit. He's <laughs> fucking with me. I said, you, you want to get him? He said, yeah, I want to get him. So in my mind, I'm like, you've been saying all this. If he do something, you're going to basically air out his bitch. Uh -huh. Right? Uh -huh. He's been, he been saying little things. Mm -hmm. So we went to baseline. Dame Dash is not around. Oh, Dame Dash was never around. Wait, wait, what? 
What did you just say? I mean, he was... He wasn't around like... Uh, Hove is Hove, nigga. Right, right. Don't get it fucked up. Hove right. don't need nobody. Right. Once Hove got on, he was the guy I would be like, he didn't need nobody. Right. Like, X... X needed people around him to help right. him. Right. Ja needed me to help him. Right. Hove... Right. Once he got on, he didn't need nobody. Mm. He had, he could do it all himself. He'll pick mm. the beats, go mm. fuck with the producer. He didn't need nobody. Mm. So we go in there. I put on a super ugly beat, and he does what he does. Talk about his bitch. Right. Hmm. No one cared. At the time, I, I could I could tell. Like I wasn't in the studio session, but I could tell you thought that was hard. I, in all honesty. All right. I thought he he did what he was saying he's gonna do. Right. Now, did I think it was the hardest shit? Right. No. Cause, cause in retrospect, you would have asked me Ether or Super Ugly. I'd have right. been like, yo, Ether, yeah. Like, are you, are you serious? Right. This is a free. And I didn't want to get in that arena. Right. So th- I'm using another nigga beat. I didn't make a beat. Mm. It's it's a freestyle. Right. Ether's a record. Right. Takeover's a record. Right. You want to do a battle, do take over in Ether. Right. I think Ether still wins. Right. Right? But do that. You right. did a freestyle where he just was rhyming right. or whatever. So that's that's the exact story of, of how that came about. Right. And and it was funny because my nigga Preem and shit, when Preem heard it, because mm-hmm. after Super Ugly, that's when radio... Did the because it wasn't a two beats super ugly and something else. Mm-mm. It was super ugly and Ethan, and they put them together, and it was. Also about the J record, didn't you mix two different beats? So it was only no, only super ugly. It was just super ugly. Okay, cool. So <clears throat> now the nigga Preem, <laughs> he was like, "Nah, man, J J J shit ain't right." <laughs> and I was like, "Where?" I said, "You ain't fucking with it." He said, "He said, you know." He said, real niggas don't really give a fuck about talking about a bitch. All right. All right. So Preem, when Preem said that, I was like, oh, shit. All right. All right. Preem was like, you know, saying you fucked the bitch or this nigga's bitch or whatever. But then, you know, it's it's all timing. All right. Because it worked for Pac. All right. All right. right? That's why I fucked your bitch, you fat mother. Jesus. It worked for him. Still. It hurts still, yeah. It can't. Yeah, it still hurt. It's like, it sounds as crazy. As he said it, it still hurt again. Right, it worked, but it worked for him. It didn't work for it didn't work for Jay. All right. And Ethan just avalanched him after that. Like Tupac going to jail worked for him. A lot of people going to jail doesn't it doesn't work for, for them. Right. Tupac going to jail definitely gave him more of an edge, more of a the credibility. Right. It's just crazy. Right. You think Gun is a snitch? I don't really like talking about that because I went through things. So I, I know things like right. once you start taking plea deals. Right. Right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sadate, right, BJ? So, it's about Pootie Jang? Yeah, yeah, I know Sadate. Yeah. I know Sadate. Once you start taking plea deals, you you working with them. All right. They t- and, and the funny shit with me, they tried to get, they came to me and anything, you want to say anything, for him, I told them they could suck my dick. Mm. Yeah. And it was so funny. So I told them suck my dick early. All right. So then that get pulled over on like a suspended license. Mm -hmm. So they got me in the holding cell and three federal agents come to the holding cell. Mm. They said, hey, tough guy, you want to to tell us something now? Mm. I'm like, it's a suspended license. (laughs) (laughs) It was like straight out of a movie. It's a suspended license. (laughs) Didn't I tell y'all go suck my fucking dick? (laughs) I'm like, get the fuck out of here, yo. I said, me and Preem, get the fuck out of here. Y'all got it fucked up. So I know. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And like, niggas ain't cut from, they ain't cut from that. 
Okay. And I'm not, I'm not, I, like some, a part of me be like, eh, to each his own. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Do what's best for your life. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Do what's best for your life, dog. Well, but me, I just can't. I remember my mother, who I worship, and it was my mother and thing. I was, I was like two days from going to trial. Mm-hmm. So it was on. Mm-hmm. And my mother was, uh, she was rattled. Wow. So she's crying and she's asking me, you don't love me? Mm, damn. Mm. They're going to take you. And then she was getting all of the feds don't oh, lose. Feds? Right. Right. Your son's going to jail for 20 years. Right. That's what they told your moms? Damn. They basically was like, yo, the feds have a 98% conviction. Conviction rate, right. right. So there was, she was, you don't love me. You don't love me. They're going to take you away from me. And I'm such a big part of my family. She says, this whole family is going to be crushed. Wow. You're going to crush this family. Uh-huh. And she took it to my boys, my kids. You don't love Sonny and JJ. You're going to let them take it. And she was trying anything. Wow. And I was looking at her and she's crying and it's killing me. Wow. So she's telling them, tell them whatever they want to hear. Oh, she's telling you to roll over, like Rover. She's telling me, be gonna. Mm-hmm. Be, oh, wow. Just get yourself out of this situation. Wow. <clears throat> and uh, I looked at her. I said, I can't do it. Right. And she said, why? Why? I said, man, you, you, fucking, with it. you fucking with my sleep. All right. I said, I ain't going to be able to sleep. All right. I said, I won't be able to look in the mirror. I'd have to remove all the mirrors from my house. Right, right. <laughs> and my dad, my dad was like, told my mother, leave it alone. He said, our son is a man. Leave it alone. That was an ill moment. Real talk. He said, my son, he was like, yo, our son is a man. Leave it alone. And he he consoled my mother and shit. Wow. Uh. Uh, rest in peace, right? Your pops yeah. passed away? Yeah, rest in peace. Yeah. Um, well, this is a famous story, right? That Chris Gotti So he said that you had a meeting with Jay about you doing business with Nas. And then after that... <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I saw that story, yeah. Oh, you want to finish? No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> and then after that... I want to finish. I don't even know if it happened. <laughs> wait, 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 what? What did you say? I said, finish the story. Yeah, so he said that, that that you met with Jay about doing business with Nas. And you and and I believe the words was, it's good business. And then Jay went and did business, a Reebok deal and a commercial deal. And the, and when the time was right, when you stepped back to him and said, what's going on? He said to you, it was good business. Uh... I'll give you my version. Okay. Okay. Yes, we want your version, sir. I never. I don't. I don't recall me. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Right, man. I don't recall me. Uh, I I recall me talking to Jay about Nas. Doing business with Nas, like. And I was like, "Y'all beef ain't real." All right. All right. And I was like. If it was real, I, I wouldn't do it. I like Nas. All right. <laughs> Everyone likes Nas. Everyone likes Nas. Everyone likes Nas. Like, you have to. And he's legendary. Yes. You know, Nas coming to Murder Rink, if he'd have actually did that, it would have made Murder, it would have put Murder Rink in a whole different stratosphere. All right. So I'm an ambitious nigga, so. So you think that was a mistake, though? 100%. 100%. Because okay. the relationship that me and Jay had. Right. So once I did that, like, Jay openly was like, I was dead to him. All right. And now it opened up him doing all of the things with 50, and mm-hmm. and I couldn't say shit. Right. So it is what it is. Right. So we got, we got Tommy Matola coming up here. Tommy's coming? Yeah, Tommy's coming. <laughs> it's been in the works for a minute, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. 
Um, have you spoke to him since? Me and Tommy's cool. Um, since the stuff you said on the drink champs. Me and Tommy is cool. Okay. Me and Tommy is cool. I never seen him at my anger height because I wanted to fuck Tommy up. To be honest. Right. I think you said that on here. He called Corey Rooney a fat nigga. All right. Corey Rooney denies that. By the way, he seen me in Soho House. First of all, Corey Rooney wasn't there. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It was me and Tommy on the oh, phone. Oh, that's right. That's right. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm sure Tommy didn't call him to his face a fat oh, nigga. Right, right. But he, he, a hundred percent called him a fat nigga on the phone with me. I told that fat nigga to do this or do that. I said, well, what, what, what you say? Wow. I said, you know, you're talking to a nigga, right? Right. I said, I'm gonna fuck you up when I see you. Right. He started copping mad pleas and shit like that. Uh, but you know, proceed with your own caution to mention that or bring it up. He's he might he God he's bugging. <laughs> nah, nigga, I know God. He don't bug like that. All right. All right. He's a very honest, truthful dude, yo. All right. If he says you said fat nigga, ah, uh, you probably said it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, you <laughs> <laughs> When's the last time you spoke to Kanye? Mm. Months. Months? Yeah, I like Kanye though. Okay. We all like Kanye yeah. too. I like Kanye. Yeah. That's we love Kanye, right? Yeah. No. He came up here. Huh? He came up here? Yeah. A couple times, yeah. Kanye different. <laughs> yeah. He danced to his own drum. Yes, yes, it's very true. You know what I'm saying? He danced to his own drum, but there's no denying the impact he's had on culture, fashion, music. He's he's a, he's 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 off the charts, y'all. All right, all right. You want to play quick time with Slime? Put BJ in. And we got Sunny, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's Sunny? Playing? Oh shit, where's Sunny? Oh, he right there? All right, cool. All right, cool, cool. Okay, you want to explain to him the game? No, because like, I'm, fucking, I'm fucking sober today. Like, I'm much better drunk. Like, you know what I mean? But I'm sober today. Come, Sonny, you're not going to stay with me. You got to come over here. Come what on. are we doing? Oh, it's quick time of slide. Is BJ in? BJ. BJ. You going to take some shots for Gotti? Oh, there he goes. Uh-huh. You take some shots for Gotti? Ma'am. Yeah, yeah, stay right here then. Come on, get, get, get BJ right here. Come on. No, you coming in? I know. Yes, you sit on the side of um. You can sit over here. Yeah, yeah sit on the side of uh, your friend. Yeah, I could watch Uncle run his mouth. Because <laughs> my sister Val had two oh, kids. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your friend gonna explain the game right now. Your friend explain the game. All right, we got two choices. Oh, I ain't doing nothing. It's drink. Oh yeah, yeah give me. What you want, um, BJ? You want um, Duce? Or De Leon. Sonny, he's gonna make me drink. Okay, do say. All right, cool. He doesn't. You don't have to drink. Do say. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they drinking for. Yeah, yeah, drinking for us. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, you want to explain the All game? Right. You get two choices. Gotti, listen, listen. Go ahead, go ahead. All right, two choices. Pick one. Nobody drinks. You say both or neither. We drinking. Okay. Yeah. Simple. Okay. You want me to set it off? Set it off. I'm going to drink yeah. with you. We all drinking, by the way. Okay. Yeah. Well, except yeah, yeah. you two. Today, today I'm bowing out. Two rich guys. Rich guys drink. Yeah, no, I can't no. see me drinking, yo. Yeah, no, 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 no. I respect it. Okay, this is a good one. They, they'll, be up here, I, they'll be up here like looking for you, yo. Um. <laughs> they said, no um, smoking or drinking. Okay, y'all ready? Let's go. Oh, uh, fuck. Man. You want me to start? Yeah, no, 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 I got it. I want that one. That's a, that's a New York shit. Oh, fuck. All right, you ready? Go ahead. Illmatic or ready to die? Illmatic. Okay. Illmatic, in my opinion, is the greatest hip-hop album ever. That's the album I would tell the aliens that's, to check out. That's what out. I said. You give that to what you said? To no, give I that to the aliens? Alien. I would have gave that album to the aliens. I would have gave that album that's to the, the aliens. That's the album you give to the yes. aliens for hip-hop. Illmatic was the... Is 
the greatest hip hop album. When I listen to Illmatic, I smell Queensbridge. Right. Yeah. Like I smell it. Like I literally smell how like how the hallways smell. And I'm not talking about the bad part. You know, there's people with in in, in, the, in, in the projects with the leathers on their couch. Mm-hmm. I smell the leathers on their couch. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? You know the shit that you stick to? The plastic. That's what I mean. I said leathers. Hey, I meant plastic, yeah. The piss in the elevator. <laughs> that too. But this certain there's certain there's certain apartments that smell great. You know what I mean? Um but uh that that visualized when I when I heard Elmatic, I visualized everything that he said, and I visualized where he was at when he said it. Yeah, it's cinematic to, in your yeah. mind. To me, that's one How of the. How old was he when he did that? Seventeen. I think he was seventeen. Young as hell, I believe right? seventeen. Which means, remember, we had to record things a year in advance back then. Which means he probably recorded it at sixteen. It's, yeah, some of those songs before it was like the demo. Right. So these young niggas with these dumb lyrics, they ain't got had, no excuse. He had the dream team, no, he had. Primo, Pete Rock. Yeah, but they ain't write his lyrics. He had to still write no, those Pro, lyrics, guys. Pro. Pro. Lyrics, yeah. Production-wise, he had you know, a dream team. That's what he said to Freaky Screams was a dream team. Mm. Mm. He was in Baltimore. Uh-huh. He was hustling in Brooklyn niggas at this part of the house in the Queens. He at this part of the house. He was blasting that. He was blasting the house. Yes, yes, yes. I ain't gonna lie. I was, was in blasting a- ready to die? All day. Yes. <laughs> okay. Got it. TV series or movie? Or movies, excuse me. What do you prefer? Movies is sexier. TV series makes more money. Oh, really? So is that both? And which one you picking? <laughs> yeah, which one you picking? <laughs> you <laughs> you got good, good, yeah, that good was things about each. Yeah. Yeah. Movie. Movie? Okay. okay, cool. I don't drink nothing. My man is easy. <laughs> but look at you set up, though. Yeah, but you said to fuck up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Producing or directing? Ooh. Take a shot. I love both equally. Ah, uh, yeah. Take, take a shot. Take a shot. Come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love both equally. Ooh, this They're is a good one. very similar too. Directing is, and producing. That's a good one, y'all. By the way, these are the two people who write these questions: the Dominican guy who got who smells like haze, and the, and the engineer who from Colombia who smells like cocaine. It's a fact. It's just it's just how it happens. We don't plan it like this. New artist that I got: Jazz uh-huh. uh, Laser. Uh-huh. Uh huh. His video for Drive Slows is coming. Man, crazy. Yeah, I okay. produce me seven. The Audibles. Oh, you bring a seven back? Does he like incense and candles? I mean, he, I yeah. feel like he just comes with incense and candles. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Incense and candles. <laughs> okay. But okay. You know, with Sev's with me, yeah. it's different. Nah, y'all, 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 together. Wait till y'all hear these new records. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. Look, hold on. We, we'll we come back to that. Let's move on. Leo Combs or Kevin Lyles? Leo. It's not okay. even. What do you mean? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kev works for Leo. Okay, I mean, you don't have to say it like that. <laughs> I mean, it's just facts. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. Kev with you. forever be one of Leo's henchmen. That's right, that's right. Okay, it's dark and hell is hot or flesh of my flesh? It's dark. It's dark, okay. Large Pro or Molly Maul? Take a I shot. I learned how to... That's a shot, man. No, it's not a shot. Nah? Marley I learned Maul. how to make... Yeah. Beats. Oh, you saying Large Pro? Professor. From Large Professor. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, I used to on the on the tour we had, it was main source, the UMCs and Jazz. Woo. And I used to sit in Large Professor room and he'd hook up his equipment, the SP, the 950. He would go record shopping and I would watch that nigga put it together. And that's how I learned how to make beats. That's dope. Through Large Professor. By watching that nigga. By watching that nigga. Wow. He made the he made this record. It was a remix for Slick Rick. Mm. It's a boy. Mm. Boom boom crash. About a chick being pregnant. Doom, 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 doom. Doom, doom, doom. Some jazz record, and I watched that nigga filter that shit, put the beat. I was like, this nigga is ill. Law's professor. He's a professor. What? Yes, he's a scientist. <laughs> that nigga is ill. He different. Let me tell you a famous story that Alchemist told me. Alchemist seen that we had Law's professor on the show, so Alchemist calls me and says, yo, you know Law's professor is a crazy motherfucker. I said, what do you mean? We all know that. He said, but look, let me tell you something. He goes to a, a show with Law's professor one night to go see Ray Kwan. 
So as they go see Raekwon, Lars Professor turns around and just walks out. So when they walk out, what? he just walks out. So Alchemist is like, yo, so everyone sits, sits there and watch Raekwon perform. And then they come out and they're like, yo, yo, Lars Pro, why did you why did you um leave? He was like, yo, Raekwon ain't had no Cuban links on, God. I couldn't see the God like that. I said, yo, 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 yo. Did you understand what I was saying? That's how he, hey, yo, he was. He thought this you was going to be Raekwon. You want to know the crazy shit? Because he didn't have it on Cuban Link. That's Large Professor. That's, that's real hip-hop shit. Dude. That's Large Professor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Joey didn't have a Cuban Link on. I couldn't I couldn't watch him. Yo, I asked him what's his, his dream feature. He said, Jada Kiss. I said, you got a dream bigger, my brother. <laughs> Jesus, my, no, no disrespect. That's my brother. I love Jada Kiss. I speak to him every day. But that's your dream feature? You don't want Dr. Dre? Nah. You don't want Drizzy Drake on your joint? I can pause. I can, you I don't can, want Travis? I can see him wanting Jada. Jada's in his vibe. No, so Jada's my brother, because this is gonna sound crazy. But come on. That's from down there. He's from 20 minutes away from you. Yeah, but it's what he does. That's what he wants, bro. That's real. That's real hip hop. That's real hip hop. That's real hip hop. I got the next Okay, one. go ahead. All right. LL Cool J or Big Daddy Kane? Cool J. Mm. Cool. Scarface or Ice Cube? Wow. So, wow. All right. Take a shot? Let him take a shot. Wow. <laughs> I guess I can see your thoughts going through. I'm trying to pick one, but every time I pick one, I'm like, but the other is yeah. like. What was it to? Scarface or Ice Cube? Or Ice Cube. I'm a face fanatic, yo. All right. But you pick Biggie <laughs> over him, though. I'll take the shot. Take the shot. Take the shot. That's all we used to listen to, me, you, and Preen, right? Scarface with Jay Prince. With Jay Prince. I'm wiggling my ass. <laughs> now, that was Larry Hoover. Yeah. He says, you know, he said, niggas try to lay you down and fuck you in the ass. Wait he said, minute. I'm a rebellious nigga. You know, I'm going to wiggle my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Who said this? Larry Hoover on the Ghetto Boys Resurrection album. Okay, okay. okay. The Ghetto Boys Resurrection album, no, all the skits no, is... No pause shit. No yeah, yeah, just okay. hit play. My bad. It's just, just hit play. pause now. There's but that was there. Face, man. You know, you know what uh, made my respect for Face go even higher? So he comes to my studio. Me and him is... We we good. We we cool. Mm-hmm. He comes to the studio. Don't you know this nigga's picking up guitars, playing oh, yeah, the piano? Very musician. Though. Yeah. He plays Musical. everything. Yeah. And golf too. And I'm sitting there looking at him. You think this nigga's one of the most vicious gangster rap niggas? Right. He's in the guitar. Yeah. He's on. Yeah. The- I'm like, oh, that's why all that music was mm-hmm. coming out. It's musical, yes. Yeah. Re- retarded This nigga is, He's he's one of them right. He's fucking one of them That's why I'm like But Cube Come on man So BJ taking a shot Basically you yeah, Take one. a shot Come on Come on, come on. Yeah, That one That one Cause Cube man America's most Oof. I was at the Apollo When he when he performed when Did he, he have Jerry Curls? No For America he did no, when he live came, show. when he oh. the live show at the Apollo, he fucked New York up. He said, there. "What's up, New it's York?" Fine. He took his hat off and had the bald head, he had and they see. lost oh. their mind. Okay, wow, they lost their mind. They thought he was down Public Enemy. Nigga, he was, nigga. Let me they tell, they thought that, he was let me tell you like something. Part of the Public Enemy enemy. Then right. he did Once Upon a Time in the Projects, yo, and then put the mic up. They sung the whole record. And start throwing money at this nigga. I was like, this nigga is just killing it. That's coming right out of straight out of Compton, right out of NWA. Yeah, and leaving it. Wild. Ah. He, he that was I give Ice Cube at the Apollo America's most. That's like top three. Wow. On shows that I've seen. Wow. He's like top three. Right. He had that whole, he had the Apollo in the palm of his hands. Wow. Then what was so ill after that, he finishes performing. This nigga's walking up and down 125 with the lynch mob. Wow. What's up, niggas? What's up? Wow. Wow. They said the only other nigga that did that was Pac after the House of Blues. Mm. 
They said after the House of Blues performance, the nigga Pac shirt off, smoking a blunt. But House of Blues where? It's House of Blues everywhere. Where? In L.A. Oh, in L.A., okay. In L.A., okay. that big performance with the white pants and everything okay. like that. They oh, with the Defo chain? They okay. said that nigga was walking outside for Dolo smoking a blunt, mm. screaming West Side. Mm. I'm like, yo, who, who, who is this nigga? This nigga. <laughs> so just imagine if you're there. This nigga just finished rocking House of Blues uh, on some iconic shit. Mm. And this nigga's walking up and down Sunset for Dolo smoking a blunt screaming West Side. Uh, you fucked. Uh, you fucked. Okay. You ready? Straight out of Compton or the notorious movie? Straight out of Compton. Straight out of Compton. The fuck is this next one? Twitter or Instagram? Is <laughs> it these guys? What the fuck is this? Instagram. Huh? Oh, Threads. X now? Threads. Yeah. Yeah, these, these rich niggas is bugging. <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg and who is that? Elon. 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 These, yo, that, I go for I want to be that rich and be that petty. <laughs> like, I ain't going to lie. That is, that's, They're supposed to fight. I'm, listen, whatever they doing, like, supposed to fight. that's rich nigga petty beef, and I'm in for it. Like, no, I'm, I'm the only one that liked this shit? No, that's Oh, okay, big. all right, cool. Right. you both sitting on, like, 200 billion, you know? Word. <laughs> yeah, Word. It's the same. I can't talk about they want to fight. <laughs> yeah, they ain't fighting. They're going to have their robots fight. <laughs> the AI the is going to fight. The AI is going to fight for them. The I'm into that. I even watch that. I don't even care. Um, big L or Big Pun? Woo! Damn. Yeah. You got to drink to that. Yeah, you got to drink to that. <laughs> Did we ever you, ever, you ever, you ever interacted with Big L? No. And Pun? Yes. Any pun stories? No, I was just, I was going to come up with pun. Right. It was in that cipher. Oh, yeah, with DMX, Cannabis. And Mike Geronimo. And Mike Geronimo. But I didn't interact. Right. With him. I, was, I was random. Pun was a motherfucker, though, because he yeah. was very charismatic, very funny. Right, um, yeah. He was supposed to stick around for a minute. Both of them, Big L, too. Yep. Big L was phenomenal. Rest in peace to both. But Pun had more charisma yeah. right. than uh, Big L. Big L was like a Nas nigga. Right. Mm -hmm. Pun will make you laugh and shit. Mm -hmm. He was witty with the rhymes. I, I like Pun a lot. Onyx or Lost Boys? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to put Queens against Queens? That's these niggas. That's these niggas. I don't got nothing to do with this. I mean, I, I I would say Onyx. Onyx? Onyx was bigger to me. Uh, I'm mad at you. Right you're supposed to take a shot. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but Onyx. Shout out to both. Slam. Slam! Dun, 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 that was a big record. I was, but I was throw throw your guns with them one time. Hell. I was like, this is cheating. They were doing that shit. I was like, that was crazy. Right. Yeah, like, throw your guns, it was like shocking the way it came out. Right. Oh, yeah, like, if I could just kill a man the way that came out, like, you're like, what the fuck? Well, let's not sleep on. The last cool people's in the bins. Oh, my, in the bins. Different Keep feel. Keep your head up. Yeah, we, it's a different feel. Uh, that's a good verse right there. Onyx verse, Lost Boys? I don't I would think so. Okay. Now this is this is this is where it get tricky. <laughs> Tupac or DMX? Pac. Pac? I just explained to y'all. Can't Pac. go to Yonkers no more. <laughs> hey, I just explained to y'all <laughs> that Pac is. And you never met him. You said right. Never met. That's wild. Wow. But Pac to me is something else. Right. This and you always liked Pac though? Always. always. Like even when he the first album. Always. I just remember I remember when DMX, when I was first doing DMX, I used to tell BJ, I said, this nigga's like Pac. And BJ's a super Pac fan. He's like, nigga, fuck that. <laughs> Damn. Mm -hmm. He was like, that nigga's not Pac. Get the fuck out of here. Wow. And I was like, this nigga's like Pac, which he is, but there's no Pac. All right. There's just I agree with everything you said He's like Pac But he's no, there's no Pac 
there's no pop. Yeah, and there's no DMX. Yeah, there's no DMX neither, though. Yeah. yeah. Listen. Yeah. He was riding in the limo. He seen some white dudes beating up some black yeah. dudes. <laughs> he jumps out. Yo, get the fuck <laughs> off him, whatever. They pull a gun out on him. That could should have been the end of the night. These uh. niggas got pistols. Thing. He goes back to the limo. Man, give me my gun. It was a Black Panther shit. And blast them. They have to be police. It was uncalled. Yeah, yeah, that's what he got off on. He got he he beat that case. Yeah, he beat that. No one's Pac. Oh. I don't know no rapper that's doing right. that. But DMX rhyme with his jaw locked. X was wild too. Yeah, with his jaw locked. He was through the wire before Kanye was. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I mean, X is a monster, yo. <laughs> X is a monster, but I just, you know, Pac is, is just different, man. Pac okay. is different. You're going Pac. I was trying to convince you, but you're going Pac. Damn, I lost that shit. Easy E or Nipsey Hussle? I got to go easy. Because yeah, without Easy, it's no Nipsey. He, he sparked the whole West Coast revolution. Mm. Easy. Easy E sparked <clears throat> the whole gangster. Situation in the West Coast, and that nigga said, "Ice Cube, write the rhymes." That I say, <laughs> he straight up said it. Whoa, <laughs> <laughs> fuck! He, he fuck. kept it all the way real. Yo, he, <laughs> word. He said, "Ice Cube, write the rhymes." That <laughs> I say. Crazy. I always listen to that shit. Like, yo, niggas ain't say shit to him. <laughs> like, I mean, no one pulled him to the side. It was his record company. Yeah. He was getting yeah. all the money. He was financing everything. Uh, he was uh, getting all the money. It's hard uh, to. Say, oh, you ain't writing your rhyme, you ain't doing, nigga, I got the check. All right, all right. That, all right. that silences people. All right, okay. Tribe Called Quest or Brand Nubian? Tribe. I knew you were going to say that. You a Queens nigga, for real. Doggy Style or The Chronic? Mm. Chronic made, set up Doggy Style, so yep. I'll say Chronic. Okay. You'd rather be feared or loved? Loved. Okay. Loyalty or respect? Loyalty. You want to explain that? I mean, with loyalty, the respect is there already uh, because if someone is loyal. Hmm. I just hold someone being loyal in a bigger regard than them respecting me. All right. I ain't gonna lie. The, the, it feels like the more money you got, the more you're talking like Leo right now. You're talking like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what's funny? Uh, seven was at my crib. I got a big crib in that. Yeah, rest. New money crib. New money crib. Yeah. And Outrageous. All right. He was like... Does your blinds open when you say, open the blinds? You got no, that shit? button, no. Oh, button, okay, all right, cool, cool, cool. No blinds. Uh, yeah. Uh, all right, cool, no, uh-huh. But uh, Seven was like, nigga was just looking at me, he was like, yo, there's something different about you. And yeah. I was just like, that, that money does, it does change you a little bit. Wants to check clear. <laughs> Absolutely. You know. You're a different nigga. No, because... <laughs> What happens is, right, if you, if you got a hundred million dollars, you, you could probably make five million a year interest mm. mm-hmm. without touching your wealth. Yep. So it's like, I, I'm good. Yeah. Like, I'm still doing shit, but mm-hmm. I'm good. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to dress shit as black I'm good. Right. Like, whatever comes my way, Mm. Or whatever like that Now It's like I just have a feeling of I'm good man. And you brought your sons An AP Can we check out your AP sir God damn it What's that What's the, What is What is that, what is that? What is that? What is that? I, I know it's the Royal Oak Offshore But what what is that um, The blue face It's called the brick The brick That's what I'm talking about brick. The brick And then you got your son The 50th anniversary Yeah but they all got APs you, you know how hard that 50th anniversary is to get? They get it to your son. I mean, I, I got I got a great connect. I know Francois. 
Who's the, uh, uh, the AP guy. The AP owner of AP. Can't even pronounce it. Who the call? Oh. Francois? So they be, they have, <laughs> you know what's so crazy about this? Tell me what's crazy you about know it. how hard it is to get this watch? Yes, I do. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's like AP is crazy. You walk into AP. And you're getting retail. You're not going to a nigga named Johnny. Retail. Okay. <laughs> retail. Mm-hmm. Francois, you're going to. Well, I like Francois. Francois right. be, he keep saying he, on, he be on the go, but Francois tells him takes care of my my okay. guy. I think that's big spoke with him too. Big told me about him. I Francois, think, yeah. I call him Pumpkin. Okay, Pumpkin. Oh, Holy pumpkin. shit! Oh, oh, oh. I ain't calling another grown man Pumpkin. Yeah, I, uh, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna stick with the Francois. Hey, hey, you know, with these watches, uh-huh. like I paid. God this was man. a buck. Right. Mm. You know they I could sell this on the street for a yeah. quarter of a million. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two twenty five. Easy. Mm-hmm. Easy. Yeah, yeah. I could sell it for you. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I had hooked up my man and got him. Mm. Retail. No way. Retail. Retail is where to and, go. You know, he fell on some hard times and he sold it. Mm. Don't you know I got in mad trouble for that shit? Oh, yeah, they take you off the list. Oh, you ain't know that? They said, Irv, what the fuck is the watch we sold you doing on 47th Street? Oh, no, not on 47th. The Diamond District? Diamond not District. even Tito or They Pristine? said, what is the watch? They said, I said, Joe, they said, Irv, we sold you that watch. I, so I came clean. I said, Joe, it was for my friend. And, you know, I, I think he fell on some hard times. He had to sell the watch. But because I was so cool with Francois, but they was they was yeah they kick you off the list for that they was not yeah happy. it's hard you know how hard it is to get on that list it's rich people problem even, bro <laughs> like yeah yeah even even people that's getting money like you gotta go and it was crazy you gotta go have coffee I don't even drink coffee like you, <laughs> you gotta, gotta go have, have coffee, coffee sit down I thought you were a them. coffee connoisseur now nah, nah, no no I'm not a coffee connoisseur now like the coffee mates the zero cream shit and I go there so I'm, I gotta go to the Pat Tech tomorrow right. and I'm going to bring my own creamer you know what I mean like yo 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 but you gotta <laughs> sit down with them you gotta like it's a relationship you know what's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look, look. He got, he got some bread. Let, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Bread. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen. Show, I'm bring, I brought my cream. Yeah, 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 listen. Oh, no, no, listen. Let me tell you about the watch game. If the rap game and if the streets was like the watch game, a lot more loyalty and honor would be there. Do you know to get to a, a, a Richard, you have to buy four or five other level watches? They make you buy a watch for your girl. You ain't even got one. <laughs> <laughs> but that, if you want to get down with Richard, you want to get down, that's what you got to do. A motherfucker won't even put in a year in the motherfucking rap game. If they ain't getting that check immediately, like the, like the, the loyalty process they put you through is crazy, bro. <laughs> it's cra- I, I'm sorry. I'm, I, just, I, went, I went too far. Yeah, they, they, they definitely on some bullshit with AP. Why? I'd be like, yo, it's a watch. Nigga, this is no, no. Yeah. No. No, because it's because everything is that's serial like, numbers, right? Only people that don't know is Rolex, because Rolex makes a million watches a year. These niggas make a hundred of certain pieces. And they're numbered, I'm assuming. So yeah, if he he got a, if he got a they got a spy in the Yeah. No, they're numbered. Yeah. They're numbered, Lee. They got numbers. I'm, I'm pretty sure when they sold when he sold them the AP. Boxing. And the 47th Street saw it, took it, they yeah. called AP immediately. Yeah, to verify, yep. Oh, very yep, good. whatever papers it is, it leads to that person who, who hooked you up. Like, I wouldn't know if you buy a watch for me and I go that Because store. that's the reason why boxing papers, them papers yeah, got whatever it is, who led to you, if it's official, whoever who led to you, it, it, it leads right there. I know, but how do they know that I got it? Because they, they didn't know they, they, the they, guy had, they know it got before sold. Before you get it, before you get it, it goes through a whole process. And I'm saying, look, okay, Mr. Lee thinks he's I, I he's gonna flip it to yeah, BJ. He gave it to somebody. He's gonna know flip it to BJ. It to I somebody. bought yeah. it for my man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nah, it's, it's real. It's real. Yeah. It's real. Only people who don't care is Rolex, because Rolex makes they they produce so many watches that they were like, all right, cool. You you could tell them like, yo, this is for my man BJ, and they'll be like, all right, cool. Still care, Rolex. No, 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 no. If you tell them you sell it, or you got it retail, and then you sell it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, everyone should care. All right, let's get back. So, um, Gotti, did you know that you put uh, Shanti and Nelly back together? <laughs> 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 I want to touch on this. Yes. Right? Because you don't know something. I don't know nothing. I am clean. I am Geneva Convention. Last time I was here, yes. I was heated. Okay. Yeah, we, we noticed. You didn't have that honey yet. <laughs> no. I didn't have the honey. Now. Okay. And what you what you guys don't get with Ashanti mm-hmm. 
Ashanti, Ashanti has like not a beehive, but something similar. Right. Mm-hmm. And her beehive was on your ass. Me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I read that. Forget about it. <laughs> if I say or do anything, mm-hmm. but where I got to hold you to the flame. They help me to the flames, oh. brother. I got to hold him to the flame. Hold me to the flame. Because he's my man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Uh-huh. So if you remember the last time I was on here, he was like cracking jokes, basically saying, uh, you, you still got feelings for right. this girl. And I'm, and I'm like, Nori doesn't notice, but this is the worst shit he could be saying, right? Mm. Now. But he did you know, No, but you wore her watch. That's the reason why, though, Gotti, you wore the watch that, that she it bought you. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but most men who don't give a fuck will get rid of a chick that he's messing with watch and get wow, rid of it. That's a dope ass watch. Yeah, it's, it's very true. I like I wanted to buy it off of you. The, I, the, the Pearl it's Master. That was that was hard. The Pearl <laughs> Master. I wanted it. I tried to notice. Try yeah, yeah, Rose that, gold. Yeah, 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 gold. Platinum. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Gold. That's the original one. I got I got I got the discontinued one. I'm wearing one. that. I didn't, no. Yeah, I didn't know it was so <laughs> no, so I'm wearing it. Yeah, yeah. So when I complimented on the watch, I didn't know that it was actually a gift given to you. So that's the reason why. No. Go ahead. No, none of that. He was finished, man. The problem was Okay. You validated mm. to the world like yeah. I still had feelings for this girl. Yeah, I said that, yes. Okay. Uh-huh. Nori, you've been around me a little bit. Not mm. like that, like that. Right, right, right. I know. Have you, have you ever heard me talk about this girl? No, absolutely. Absolutely not. Oh. I don't... Like, she's done. All right. She's, she's fucking done with me. Yes. No one's sitting around thinking, mm-hmm. and you know, y'all be like, "Oh, but she still looks great." Uh, you, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't wanna when you seen that last picture. <laughs> a little, it sounds just like us. Which I say, like yeah. I'm not the fuck yeah, I'm not, you talking about Ashanti. So when you say that, no, I said because it, you're my man, yeah. and you're like, oh, you still look like you got feelings. Remember when he said yeah, that? Yeah, I did. I mean, he was fucking with you. Yeah. He was fucking with you. Yeah, it was, yeah. And he did not know it was Listen, gonna do that. Yeah, I didn't know it was going to do that. All right, watch this. Yeah. Nobody knows how the, the public's going to react. But, but right. I could honestly say it just now start dying Tamper down. Tamper down, right. All right. These motherfuckers, I'm like, yo, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's about to come back. It's about to be up again. <laughs> DM. Hold on. DMs, comments, <laughs> oh, you still love her. Uh, wait, 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 wait. They'll post a picture of Ashanti and Nelly and all of the comments will be like, Er's punch in the air. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, we didn't even understand. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm like, what is I'm gonna these? I'm going to take a shot to punch in the air. Like, what is these people doing? But I'm, I said I was mad at Norris. <laughs> yes, he was. He was not Because uh-huh. he helped validate and fuel it. Without okay. Because, because he didn't know. Man. Yes. But it was Rasta who did, does a trail us. I just want to. <laughs> <laughs> I know. He's trying to pass you up. He's trying to pass you up. I'll just be honest. I want to do the next episode, and when I did see it, I I, I did. No, find it. Like, you let that slide. It. <laughs> no, no, but you know what? I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. You know how many people who how many men related to that? No, and I know you, you are over. Uh, you were over her. I know that it was a joke at the time. But if you look at the actual comments, like yo. I ain't over my shorty neither. Like, sure. like it was a lot of men. Like, by the way, by the way, <laughs> the way that you're trying to look, fix this is no, I'm just being honest. Look, look at the comments, though. Right. I'm, I'm not them. <laughs> no, 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 no. We know that. But what I'm saying is, I'm sitting so, on a hundred. There's so many men in this world who are in love with a woman, right? And they let her go, or someone else get her, and they haven't got over it. So you, you was the leader of them niggas for like. <laughs> you was the leader. You are the leader. <laughs> For like six like, months, they was like, go ahead, Gotti. Yeah, yeah, they were going to go They were going to head your back. They were like, go ahead, Gotti. What is that? They're fucking up with us? I was, I was, I was the leader of the niggas that's still in love with a girl who don't want to fuck that. You hear this nigga? No. 
I was the poster child for the no, nigga. No, no. Who oh, yeah. <laughs> still yo, love yo, the bitch. Did you not see the comments? Yeah. What? There were comments like, guy had got even. bad enough, too. We were oh. getting fucked up, too. So. Not as bad as me. But one, one of the things that took a twist was a person that you call your brother, a person that I call my brother, um, when you and him had some words after that, uh, I believe it was Fat Joe, and I believe he, he said that, you know, he didn't like what you what you was doing, like, as if... And, and a lot of people don't know. A lot of people didn't watch the whole episode. Wu was telling you to chill out. He was like, yo, chill, chill, mm-hmm. chill. So a lot of people... I didn't like that. Oh, the, the, yeah, we all we all drunk. That's why we sober this one. This one, we motherfuckers, so it's no, no excuse, but... Did that throw you off? How did that How did that take you? Like, you know what I mean? Because I know after the verses... Fat Joe was my brother. Right. I do not feel Fat Joe is my brother okay. anymore. Anymore. Yeah, and I'm like a... I guess it's a cancer trait. Some people will call it a... a That's a, it's a sign you're talking about cancer? Okay. Because once you show me who you are... All right. Or you, you speak negatively about me... All right. It's over. But his defense, right? His That's defense it. is... His defense and Jai's defense is they do shows with Ashanti and... Uh-huh. Oh, that's little silly, so whatever. Well, Rule will never come out and say Gotti's a sucker. All right. All right. Like, <laughs> Fat Joe, yeah, you call Yo, me. we should talk about the great Hold fucking on, hold on. Let me get man. this thing. Listen, that, Fat that, Joe said, oh, Gotti's a sucker. I, th- I didn't think he's calling you a sucker. I thought he... he, he what you mean? The situation. He said, he yeah. said Joe, Gotti, he's a, it's, he just, he's a sucker. Mm-hmm. I need I gotta pull back and regress from that All right because if I was to go respond or anything with that it could get crazy All right but then he also said you was his brother he's he, he, like he, I think he apologized to you he didn't apologize it was on some like you know if I'm your brother I, I should be able to tell you when you're wrong but my thing is like Nigga, you, you don't... Did you ever get one call first? No. Mm. So, exactly. so <clears throat> my thing is, like, nigga, you, mm. jo- you don't even know what went on with mm. me and Nishanti. Right. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, for you to say anything is crazy, because you don't know what the hell went on with me and her. Mm-hmm. Rule, no, Rule knew mm. he was there, mm. and then, you know what I'm saying? That's why all my niggas... They never said nothing right. or whatever like that. But, you know, it's all good. But y'all, y'all did hey, see each this. other, right? You know, you know it's some crazy shit. But y'all did see each other right before you get into the crazy shit. Y'all did see each other and y'all, y'all spoke. I, I seen a picture with y'all somewhere. Or, I mean, that's true, right? Y'all did see each other, right? You and Joe. Yeah, we probably seen each other. I don't know about all that speaking. Oh, okay. Y'all, oh, I thought y'all did. Oh. Uh, My bad. It's a funny, it's a weird thing when you have family. I'm going to say some shit Come on, let's go. that's kind of weird. Okay. <clears throat> but I don't really need friends. You know why? I really enjoy chilling with Nene. <laughs> mm-hmm. My mother. Mm-hmm. I really enjoy chilling with my family. Mm-hmm. I really enjoy being around the people who I know care and love for me the right way. Right. I don't need you, nigga. I'm a sucker. You need to get away from me. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, uh, what I'm saying is, I I have so much of a comfort with my family that I don't need extra people around me, y'all. I'm a very simple guy. I I will fucking be at home and chilling. Yes. And I'm very content. Uh-huh. I got BJ, I got Darcel, I got, you know, a handful of people that I consider family. I don't need no extras. So, you know, Fat Joe was once someone who I thought was family. I think he is your fan. I think he you know y'all kind of both was out of, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I believe I believe he did. I believe okay, he you know what it is? I'm going to be honest. I, I think, and, and I'm, 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 I'm going to put, um, I just kind of started understanding what viral is. What, what, what viral happens is, what, what happens is this. 
this clip will come out of you, of me uh, talking about you and Ashanti, right? So it'll come out on this station. But then five days later, other people would take other clips from that, and it seemed like it's it's a new thing. But really, it's just the same clip, just we just yeah, and, and always so, taking out of context. So, so what it was was that I believe you did a. Um, a newspaper after after Drink Champs, you did a newspaper, something else, and you did something else, and it seemed like you was just doubling down on your on your story. So it seems like the way it was released. Yeah, the way it was released. I'm just saying, as a as a person who plays media now, it seemed like you was everywhere saying that when really it was just one clip that kept going viral. So you know what I'm saying? I can see how he could have took that as the wrong thing. Like, damn man, he just keeps this in, this this is shiny. No, no. If you, if you're yeah. friends, you call your friend and you tell yeah, him how right. you feel. Right. You feel right. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. That's not what yes, friends sir. do. Right. All right. Okay. If I if I if you do something and I think yeah. Nori did some foul shit, right. I'm gonna call Nori and say Nori. Right. And it's gonna be between me and you. Right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Understand. It ain't for nobody else. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. what are you doing? Mm-hmm. So there's there's no explaining. That shit is over and done. Yeah, it's over and done with. Moving on. Right, right. So, oh, so you said something before we started rolling, and, we, and if you don't want to talk about it, we could edit. But you're saying your family was telling you not to come here because of a health condition. Like, because right. health is important for all of us. Right. Um, my boys and Angie, mm. my daughter is like, my daughter is the illest protector of me. Right. She'll fuck somebody. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so. Make some noise just, for your daughter. Your kids. 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 Uh, your kids. They just didn't want me drinking and smoking. Yeah. All right. right. You know, my uh-huh. diabetes, my numbers been high. So well, they, they just wanted me to... They's like, Dad, you can't do drink champs. Uh, I said, yo, I ain't going to drink or smoke. Uh, explain to somebody, my bad, my bad for cutting you off, but explain to somebody who don't have money. Like, you you know, you're talking about the, the money that you had, the money that you made, and you're still dealing with diabetes. Does 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 having money help you with diabetes? Or that's, that's no it way? helps a little because you could get a chef, you could nutritionist, you could get... Proper you, medical you attention if yeah. you don't have money. So, yeah, money helps. Okay. Money helps with everything, dog. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Or rather have money than not have money. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Because you you know and I, I realized that the bank. Right. Bank I uh, you know, with Bank of America, right. uh, Morgan Stanley. Right. So they had this meeting uh-huh. to tell me all of the things that they could do to help me. With with the honey. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I was just like, this is so fucked up. Mm-hmm. You know, oh, they care all of a sudden too. They was getting me. They they said we have the best doctors. Mm-hmm. If you get sick, we'll, we'll 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 get you the proper medical. Huh. I'm like, so if you ain't got no bread, it's fuck you. You're left for dead. <laughs> you got right. overdraft fees for you. <laughs> No, but that's they, fucked up. They got overdraft free protection. Got, that's all they got for you. That's so fucked up. You got bread and they all of these, you got more help. You unlock shit. It's yeah, wild. Yeah, you ain't got no bread. It's like, get the fuck out of my office, dog. <clears throat> You're dying? Hurry up and die. <laughs> Yo, it's crazy. You better get some money. <laughs> no. so, so what do you, what does that tell us? Get some bread, nigga. All right, all right. So, 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 what is diabetes for a person that don't don't know? I don't fucking know. It's, just, <laughs> it's, it's your sugar levels, sugar in your levels. Body. Right. So that's the thing where people it be runs like rampant with black people. It's dangerous. Right. It's dangerous though. It's gotta, all right. And it, and what it does is it starts deteriorating your body. All right. So. And, and you good? Like you got it under control? No. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay. Because when, 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 when you been diagnosed, or this is a recent thing. I've been diagnosed with diabetes forever. Because this is like the smallest I've ever seen you. Like it's hereditary. Like, yeah. Okay. I've been diagnosed with diabetes. You have to do insulin. Time to time, not all the time, but time to time. Okay. okay. When my number gets too high, shot. Right. Wow. I heard that it's reversible. Choose it's your, uh, yes, it's reversible, but, but it's really a diet thing. You got to change the way you eat. Like be a vegan. Yeah. You got all that, but uh-huh. you you know it's fucked up with diabetes. Uh-huh. So anything that's you you're gonna like or taste good, horrible for you. Mm-hmm. Fried chicken. Forget it. Killer. 
Like okay. carbohydrates are all sugar. Cupcakes. Not killer. <laughs> Liquor sugar. Now what's what's some tuna, tuna fish sandwiches? What, what's some nasty shit? Uh, rice cakes? Yeah, rice cakes. Rice cakes? No, what's a, what's, what's a, yeah, rice cakes is not a good example. Uh, okay. Like <laughs> broccoli. Spinach. I had some garlic broccoli last night. It was good. The garlic. From, from to, to, garlic's not good? Probably not. Wow. So what the fuck do you eat? Cardboard? You're supposed to eat some, some leaves or some shit like that. You're you playing, right? No, flavor, because everything got sugar. Yeah. I told you, if you fucking eat something and it tastes good, it's better. Even too much fruit is sugar, depending That's on how, the level of yeah. diabetes. Wow. Yeah. So watermelon, you can't have no watermelon? I can have fruit, but... He has to watch how much of the sugar... Yeah, I said watermelon, not fruit. No, that's Water, watermelon is a whole different thing for black people. This is why my kids fruit. get mad because I'm be telling them, like, yo, I'm going to live. Right. I'm like, y'all motherfuckers want me to die right. and not enjoy life. I'm going to enjoy life and do certain shit. Right. No, dad, but you can't do that. I'm like, all right, stop me. All right. Because it's like they, I got to live. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna have the fucking water. Watermelon, goddamn, make some watermelon. <laughs> but what you're supposed to do? Exercise. All right, all right. You gonna go see um Russell in Bali? No. In Bali? In Bali. <laughs> Why not? He's still out in Bali? Yeah, he out there running rapid. <laughs> <laughs> running rapid. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Ramsey? Oh, no. What's wrong with me? <laughs> well, he's in Bali because of all of the bullshit. <laughs> right? God, he don't hold back nothing, man. Well, he was, he's he, in Bali because of the bullshit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Russell's like, they, he's probably seen what they did to Harvey Weinstein. He said, nah, nigga, not me. No, no, Russell didn't get found guilty of nothing. He didn't what? He didn't get found guilty of nothing. He never went to trial. That, well, that says a lot. <laughs> That says a lot. He's in Bali, nigga. <laughs> but, he, but he's come back though. But he's come back yeah. multiple times. In and out. Right. Yeah. Now Russell ain't got no warrants. He ain't out here. Yeah, because he wouldn't be able to come in the country if he had warrants. Uh. Uh. Nah, he couldn't. That's why I said he could not. Because oh, we know no, you was cool with R. Kelly, DJ. My nigga. R. Kelly, right? Make some noise for Robert. Make some noise for Robert. Musical genius. The musical genius. You ever seen them finger pops on? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, fucking I'm, with you. I'm gonna tell you something though, right? Uh-huh. It's this fucking great movie that my man directed. Oh yeah, word. What's the name of it? Made okay, in fucking America. Okay, it's Robert made Kelly in, in there. It's Robert. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I just with you. I just fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Yeah, the ticket sales will go through the roof. <laughs> <that> <laughs> <nigga> <laughs> <was>. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the movie is great, man. It's a great hip-hop movie. What's First, the premise of the movie? The premise of the movie is basically Jay-Z. Ooh. And I'm basically telling the story and showing how young black men selling drugs, mm. and then they flip the drug money to start a record company. Mm. So it's really a triumphant story about how to make it in America. Oh, now the title makes sense. Yeah. Make it in America. Yeah, yeah. It's mm. about two brothers and they selling drugs and one of the brothers is a rapper, you know, and they use the drug money to help promote and push his music. Mm. He gets a big record deal at the end. They won. They made it in America. Basically. Both brothers. Sorry. But you know, technically an American story because that's been all the richest people in America going back, the Kennedys going back to Ford, all these big people bootlegging. They all made it off of illegal. I touch, I touch on that in the movie. Mm. I touch on the fact that uh, Rockefellers. You know, I said Ford. I don't think Ford. When you look at the Kennedys, the Rockefellers, they their families is. With the shits. Kennedy's was bootleggers. Bootlegging, yeah, the father. The father, he was a bootlegger. He was gangster. He was the mob, yeah. You might show a missing. Mm. And then they, is now they turned it clean. Yeah. I touch on that in the movie about how they kind of showed us the way. 
That's you uniquely see, American. You see the Kennedy that, that's that running story. for president right now? You see the Kennedy that's running for president yeah, right now? Yeah. I don't trust him at all. I actually like him. I actually like him. <laughs> nigga had on jeans. Nah, I don't want to meet you. Nah, nah. nah nigga. I, I fuck I'm, with him. I'm prejudiced. I, I I'm like sorry. Him. I'm sorry, nigga. Yeah, I want you, I want you to be suited and booted, nigga. What the fuck you mean? Said, nigga? Yo, he, yeah. He's better he than said, yo, you see Luke Kennedy? He said, yo, I don't trust him. Don't you come in here trying to look like me? I don't like it. I don't like it. You play doing part. Podcast. He do a podcast. He did, yeah. Well, he he actually got on drink chance. I said, no, nah, let's have him on. What the fuck? Okay, you you do I'm it. I'm in. I'm that's in. The, that's the day I'm calling out. I'm in. I'm in. Me and Sunny D. <laughs> no, no, I'll come. I'll come. I'll come. I'll come. Yo, so Gotti. At one point, we were talking about doing a Murder Inc. tour, right? Not anymore. Shanti. Because you see, like you see, like uh, like I went to the Nas and the Wu Tang uh, 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 concert, and what I tell you, man, I'm talking about it was sold out. That tour is incredible. That tour is incredible, and it's like these guys they don't even have records in the past ten years. I mean, Nas does with with the albums, but they're not performing this, this new material. All this material is all these and oh, I'm. Shit. And it, it, vintage shit And it's like It's such a beautiful thing You don't think Murder Inc Rough Riders Could probably Recreate that 100% Ooh. I just don't Have any confidence That Ashanti Would do it Just Ashanti we going, Is Lloyd allowed back? Yeah Rough Lloyd X now either, right? Who? Yeah with, with X Is that dented Rough Riders Oh yeah So, so oh, Okay say it But let me tell you something Murder Inc Could sell out a ring. They get well they do it themselves if right. it's all of them. Right. So would you let them do it without you? If they yeah. said, okay. I mean, I'm not. You got a hundred, nigga. You good? <laughs> I'm not performing. And he sold okay. everything. So. Yeah. You know, you know, when people talk about the masses, just to touch on this for one second. Yes. And they're like, oh, you should give your artists, you know, their masters. No. Because... That's how I make my money. Like Ja, Ashanti, millions of dollars they make every year, yeah. I don't get a dime of that. To Martin show money? Yeah. Okay. I don't get one, one fucking penny of that. All right. So the only thing that I have that I could sell to get me a check is those masters. And you want to take that from me? But do they get pieced off after you sell them? Or... I pieced Ja off. Ja got a seven-figure check. When I sold, Ja got a seven-figure check. And, you know. But that's it. Only Ja. I don't know whether you make some noise for that or not. Yeah, make some noise for make that. Make some noise for that. <laughs> Listen, is every other artist going to hear? Is every other artist going to hear this and be like, well, Gotti, where's mine? You ain't fucking Ja. That was his prerogative. That makes sense to me. You ain't fucking Ja. Ja held that motherfucker down. Still. Dun, dun, it's murder. I seen this Jordan place. They were clean. I see he got the new paddock, too. I seen yeah. that. I'm watching. <laughs> but, you know, they could still, like, because I was like, they could all go with Ja, Ashanti, Lloyd, Charlie, Black Child. Fucking caddy, that would be a dope tour. They could put on like a two hour show between all of them, hour and a half. Two Y'all letting caddy come back on? Yeah. Me and so, 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 for the record, do we ever believe Prodigy's book? Yeah. Yeah, what? I believe it. You believe what Prodigy did? I seen Prodigy at Club Griffin. After the book? Yeah. Okay, continue. And it was it was funny because I was in there, I was mobbed up. Cujo. Uh. And Prodigy had came over, seen me as yo, uh, are we cool? And uh. you know, is there any problem? I said, nigga, I ain't, I ain't even thinking about you, nigga. Uh. But I said, yo, let me ask you a question. I said, that shit you wrote in the book was it real. He said, yeah. And talking about the particular the, the, the um 
Nobody knows Ca- what you're talking about except the you. The Cadillac Tahoe. Just FYI. Yeah, yeah. If y'all want to well, keep it like well, that, well, no, no, no. I don't know what the fuck Prodigy, y'all talking about. Prodigy wrote a book. <laughs> Prodigy wrote a book. And no, he I said, know the book, but I don't know the passage. Yeah. And he, no, he's saying that the Cadillac Tahoe like, gave up the address to the studio or some shit like that, right? He let, he let niggas know where we was at. Right. And it was crazy because that night that the, that the bullshit happened, after it happened, we was always like, how the fuck these niggas knew where we was at? Because mm. I believe it was my birthday and we was bouncing around from, from mm. club to club. Mm. So for them to catch us that night mm. was very weird. Mm. But I don't blame Caddy. He was under pressure. Forgive him. He's a weak, he's a weak nigga. Everyone can't be strong. Right. But forgiveness is godly. And you say you forgive him. I mean, I ain't thinking about it. All right. I ain't thinking about it. All right. Go ahead. Take a, take a shot. Sit down. That's Stickers. that bread. Right. That's that bread, that honey milly. Have you seen Nelly since you had the honey milly? Me and Nelly were fine. <laughs> okay. Right. Since you had the honey milly. I don't know, because you know, you're different <laughs> swag. I, I got the honey milly. Like, yeah. Listen, me and Nelly seen each other. Ooh. We laughed. We talked. If you ask me about Nelly, I would consider Nelly my friend. Right. Dope. I have no problems with Nelly. I have, you know, I wish him all the best. Oh, shit. That's right. That's right. Get you out of it. Thanks, Sonny. So how about, how about, are you, are you going to like lay down with one woman? Is it going to be the one what? woman, Gotti? You know what? Ever? That That is like... Cause you've been talking about fucking bad bitches this whole time. I would love to have one bad bitch that's with me a hundred percent. I just don't think it's out there for me. I, mean, I think I'm put, about a hundred million. I think I'm putting have a lot of my level. <laughs> yeah, you gotta have a prenup off top. You gotta have a prenup. Oh, dating. oh nigga, and dating. You, you gotta, gotta have a prenup. What they call NDOs? NDO, nigga. NDOs. Point ninety nine. NDAs. Yeah, that's what I mean. You know what I mean. I'm gonna have an L prenup, nigga. An L prenup. Yeah, yeah. And you know, chicks, chicks, they be rubbing me the wrong way and shit. They, they. You can't get me and you always asking for shit. Asking for money, asking for things, because you know I got it. Mm. That's the fastest way to lose me. Oh, you a sugar daddy out here? No. You, you a zaddy out here? No. Okay. You no. zaddy? That's what they be calling them. That's what they be calling them. You know what I mean? If I show you... If I show I'm married, you, so I'll be just <laughs> hey, If I show you the chick that would die for me to be a sugar daddy, mm. this bitch is gorgeous, yo. 26-year-old Dominican, gorgeous. You out I'm, here with Totones? Okay. With <laughs> okay, okay. Listen. But is she worth 100 M? No, no, head, listen. So I'm, I'm talking head to foot. Mm-hmm. Dime. Mm. So she asked me for 25000 Damn. She's a real one. Let's make some noise for her. <laughs> I had no idea. I had no idea he was going. <laughs> yeah, but that's you why. I, consider it. Look at your face. Yes. No, uh, no you no. didn't consider it at all. No. He was, he was like, go to work. I said, I said, Joe. You negotiated. No. I was known to go to 25000 I was like, where does she get off asking me for 25000 And then in the back of my head, I'm like, this is the tip of the iceberg. Mm. 100%. If she's my girl, mm. that bitch, is she going to ask, I need a hundred. Mm. Hermes. Mm. Chapal. <laughs> I need a hundred thousand. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, bitch, get out of here. Mm. That's crazy. My bitch, get out of here is immaculate. <laughs> Before you gonna touch this money, before you gonna separate. I, wait, I ain't, I ain't do all of this shit, get all of this money for my family right. to have some bad bitch come around and just start siphoning it out. That's never happening, y'all. Mm. Bitch, get the fuck out of here. Mm. Yeah, Very it's quick. Too late. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so that's why I just, I don't think it's in the cards for me. Mm. I don't know if I could find 
someone who I'm going to be attracted to that's like a nice, good person. Right. And you So you're saying you got your guard up all the time? You have to. Okay. I loyal to you that. And <laughs> even if your guard is down, once she asks for 25000 Okay, what? yeah. <laughs> it's different. Once yeah. she asks for 25000 guess what's coming up? The guard. But let me ask you: Did, did she have like a, was her grandmother dying or something? No, no. She was. She said she wanted it for her school, her college tuition. Oh, come on, right? come on. That's a good girl. That's a good girl, man. Come on. FIU. FIU. Oh, I thought she wanted um, butt surgery or something. Nah. Yeah. Okay. She wanted. Oh, for the next. You know, supposed to be the sugar daddy and go to the college like that. Let me see. She said she Let me wanted see the to open up a spa. A spa. So she needed to. Oh, go I respect her. That's, no, that's, that already sounds. <laughs> oh yeah. Don't give her massage. They don't be doing that. Yeah. No. Open up a spa just sounds like the thing someone would say to get some bread. <laughs> no. That's What's gonna it. happen? You give her the 25000 She finishes school She says I told you I want to open spa I need a quarter of a million Right The start of capital for but the spa But then she makes you $25 million. You ain't looking at it that side With the spa? With Come the spa? on bro <laughs> you, the you never know You shouldn't start a relationship With investments Hey, really hey I'm, I'm just asking I'm just trying to be The devil's advocate she don't really Jay, What do you believe She don't really want to open a spa no. Nah she don't want no spa Nah she so she wants to go to the spa. Yeah, she wants to take a steam bath. Right? <laughs> take a steam bath. <laughs> She's like, I gotta learn on the job. Uh, you ain't taking a steam bath by herself. Uh, what, Sonny? You gonna be there? <laughs> no, no. Gonna be there, but it's gonna be somebody. Else. No, what's up with the drink fill up, man? What's up? Yeah, that's that's Jamie. Let's make some noise with Jamie. Jamie! We have to have female uh, around. It's too much testosterone. Shit, shit, shit. It's too much testosterone. I'm feeling my drink. I, yeah. I thought it was done. Yeah, you got to drink for God. Drink, man. You got to drink for it's, God. It's never done when Jamie's around. It's that me and you today. It's crazy. So, so um, you know, seeing the moves that, like, uh, Jay-Z has been making, or uh, seeing the moves that you have been making, did you think that hip-hop ever, like, like, I know it's a cliche type of question, you think that hip-hop ever, like, come this far? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like... That's crazy, yo. Hip hop. I love hip hop so much. 50 year anniversary. 50 years is wild. But I love hip hop so much because it just changed. It's changed all of us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And not only did it did it change us, it changed our way of thinking. Mm-hmm. You know, niggas ain't thinking about selling drugs right now. Right. Right? I know YouTubers right now that's making more money than drug dealers. Right. They no 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 one YouTubers. Is, no one is thinking about selling drugs. Or even if you're a drug dealer, you're thinking I'm gonna do this and then get out and do this. Mm. So I just love hip I just love hip hop with a passion, man. Uh. Hip hop is done hip hop is done more for us black people than Anything else? Did any president right. had ever been involved? I mean, more than sports, more yep. than, more than thing. Because sports, you know, you got to be athletic. You got to be this hip hop. You could be a manager. Or you right. could be an engineer. Right. There's you, different entry right. points. Yeah, it's like right. it's it's beautiful. I can tell you got you got he get a lot of money. He just talking so soft. He's just like <laughs> yo, but listen. Let me, let me let me say so. Nas had dropped his documentary on uh, Showtime. It was about the Prem team. So I believe that he dropped it. I don't I don't I don't remember if he dropped it all at once or if it was. No, I think it was it was episodes. It was episodes, so it was in part. Yeah. So I watched it. I remember one of the very important things to me was to see Irv there. You know what I'm saying? I had I got Nas' number. I could have texted him and it could have blew up the surprise. But I actually stood there and I watched it. Was that important for you to be a part of that? I mean, I'm very protective of Supreme and the Supreme team. But he obviously had to have permission. For, okay. And I've been a part of Supreme and everything of that nature where I feel shit like that is mine. All right. So Nas, he, he's smart. All right. He backdoored it. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. <laughs> he said this last time. I think. He went to he Prince. Said oh, he went to Prince. Oh, I didn't know that. Nas went to Prince. He didn't go to Supreme. Oh. Because Supreme would have said, yo, got it, nigga. What the fuck is you talking about? But isn't that like going to BJ? No. 
No? Because my, my relationship with Prince is a great relationship. I right. love Prince, but it's not like Prem or it's not like BJ. Right. Like Nas couldn't have went to BJ. BJ would have been like, what? Nigga, get the fuck out of here, man. All right. That's All our right. shit. All right. Okay. You understand? Yeah, to a certain extent. Let me get a blind. Um, Boris? <laughs> Prince is in prison. Oh, so is Preem. Yeah, but it's a difference. Okay. If you if you go and dangle one hundred fifty thousand that Prince, he can, he's gonna take it. Okay. Fast. <laughs> but but okay. Let me let me play devil's advocate, right? Because we're all from Queens. <laughs> Although this is your direct linear is right. I'm trying to say that word right. You know, I'm a special Lineage. educator. You know what I meant, right? <laughs> so, um, but we all kind of feel attached to that story. It's like any person from Harlem. You could be from 110th Street, but you're gonna relate to that Rich Porter. You know what I'm saying? A Z story, like you know what I mean? Okay. And he did do the research. He like you, you seen like he had LL in the club, and like like it was. I, I felt like he he did it from like a fan perspective. And it, it was a good job, and it was a great job. It was a great. It wasn't something I saw. Yeah, it was a good job. Mm -hmm. Is that something you you, you thought you should have did? Because I think you, you sort of alluded to that. I mean, I I thought thing, but you know, we love Prince, mm -hmm. so mm. that's why I said he he backdoored it. Right. He went and got Prince. But he had Prem on the phone too, though, right? Yeah, once he got Prince. Okay. Okay. So once he got Prince, it was like, we ain't going to hate on Prince. Right. And right. that's how he got it done. Right. Okay. I, I, um, I seen the other day on um, Prem's son. We had him on here. Instagram. And he said that there's a possibility that Prem's case will be overturned. Is that... Oh. Well, he has some motions. He's coming back to court. Going back to court. He's coming back. Okay. He gave some back already. He's coming back there and got some stuff going on. Okay. The 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 thing with with Preem, mm -hmm. I the last I heard was they was just they was trying to remove the life sentence. Mm. So even if they gave him. 50 years or whatever. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> they would be able to, he would be able to come out because of time served. How many how, how many years he got in? 19. 19. You fucking with Trump? <laughs> what you say? <laughs> fucking with Trump. I mean, I would if this he... This nigga got indicted more than times than Prime. <laughs> know, I don't know, I I mean, you fucking with him? I, I I don't really think about it. Yeah. Um, I don't really think about Trump like that. You voted Only for Biden. Only time I think about Trump is about Prem. Uh, if I could get next to him, that's what I'm trying to say. That's why I asked you, you fucking with Trump, because he feel like he be like fuck it, let him out. <laughs> like on some nigga shit Like yo My man's from Brooklyn My man Lou Word Yeah he, he last, Before he left office He, he part of Lil Wayne Kodak Black Yeah part of my man Lou Hall Her Her That'll be ill That'll be the best day in the world Day right. that Prem come on Alright Damn yeah. Let's just make some noise for that so we talked about the murder ink tour. We talked about the the book. We talked about oh, well, not the book. Uh, did, did did you? Oh uh, no, uh, the book of Hove. Are you in that book? I don't know. I ain't see it. And well, the, the famous rumor is that Dame Dash is removed from that book. Probably. I don't. I don't think, I don't think Jay likes Dame. <laughs> Damn, nigga, you can put some salt on it. <laughs> what is? <I> mean, <laughs> did I say something that? People don't know already. No, but I'm just, I'll, I'll be honest, because there's so many different stories. that Leah story has just recently circulated, or whatever, whatever. But let's, I, I don't want to get on that. I don't think I'm that good of a, a, a media guy. Um, but did you ever think that in the beginning, when you see their their, their their chemistry, I'm talking about the three. You know what I mean? Because you know, Biggs got you know he fucks with drink champs as well. Um, but Biggs, Dame, and Jade, like when I used to see them. It used to be so tight. I never thought that that, that that this would happen. Did you did you see this day coming? He would have saw it for anybody. Yeah. Back then. He was in it. I mean. Yeah. 
remember what I said. Mm -hmm. Jay didn't need nobody. Right. Right. Jay don't need nobody. Right. So you you really don't think that Dame had anything to do with the success? You say that. No, no, I'm asking. I mean, it's kind of a question. Right. I remember Dame fighting for the artist. I remember that. Because you, regardless of how you feel about the person, you got it. The whatever they did should be credited. He started Rockefeller with Jay and things, so he should get credited. I'm saying the making of the records and. St- in the studio sessions, Clark Kent was there. I don't know. What do you want me to say? <laughs> he said it. No, whatever. He said after they made you it, made Jay, it. Didn't Jay didn't need nobody. Jay didn't need nobody. nobody. You're basically you basically saying Jay wasn't created, important. And that was Jay it. was picking the beats. You know Jay was saying? rapping over the beats. He gave James Jay was credit making before. things. Right. It was all hope. Right. right. They was along for the ride. Great ride. It's a great ride. That's like saying, you know, that's like saying, do you, oh, do, does Irv need BJ to, uh, no, nigga. All right. You know what I'm saying? Mm. No. It could have been somebody else there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm here. Right. I'm along for the ride. Right. But luckily, I'm a loyal motherfucker, and this is my man, and I learned some shit, and I know where to be in my place, so I'm still here. All right. You know what I'm saying? All right. Well, so that's so, it. Did you get a chance to see the Brooklyn Museum? Um, they recreated the baseline. Did you see it on the gram, though? I seen it on the gram. That right. was crazy. All right. Did you, did you, did you, was you a part of baseline? What was amazing. your favorite studio? Mine. <laughs> Crack House. Crack House. Prior to that, Hit Factory, Sony, Right Track, Unique, d and I liked Right Track. Right Track. Gold Doors, 47th Street. Doro, that Parking was... Parking lot across the street. Doro. 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 That's right. My man. I call, um, what's, what's my man's name? Um... Young Guru, I said, don't ever forget, you little Duro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my man, Young Guru. <laughs> that's my man, Young Guru, man. So, um, one thing that I listen to when I hear the pledge, right? Mm. <clears throat> I hear Nas, he's on there. I hear this different type of energy. Like, I, I had to listen to it today. I just had to just go back into it, right? And then Nas, he, he says murder... I don't know if he specifically says I'm murder, ain't, but he says murder, right? Nah, he said it. What, what is it? He said at first it was me. Nah, I stand, I, by myself. I stand alone. Stand now up. it's murder. It's murder, yes. He's pledging allegiance, nigga. <sighs> I'm not sure, because when I listen to it again. Well, <laughs> hindsight. <laughs> listen. <laughs> Hindsight is 2020. It's two steps. It's two steps. This way, yeah. went back. Because you, know, you know what's crazy? The second verse. Who shots out Shug? Is it Rule? Rule. It's Rule who shots out Shug. And it's just like, and I just remember me first hearing it. I can't, I couldn't read it. When I listened to it today, I said, "Get out of Miami, Nori. Get the fuck out of Miami. This is not how you supposed to listen to this. Put your fucking mind back on the R train." So I put my mind back on the R train, the 7 train, the G train, the E train. And when I listened to it, I was like, this is a threat. Like, this is like, if you, you know what I'm trying to say? No. Like, to the music industry. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Like, this is like, yo, look, we got Nas, and then we shout out Shug, like, oh. <laughs> What happened here? It scared the shit out of Nas, and he ran for the hills. Ooh. I heard there's a famous meeting with you and Steve Stout, and Steve Stout told you you got to f- talk to Nas about Africa and not owning a record label. No, That's- Steve Stout was like, stop talking to him about money and power and all of this shit. He was like, Nas just wants street cred and a free trip to Africa. <laughs> I'm not sure if Stout was right. <sighs> no, he basically... Got age right? No, he basically, he knew Nas. Okay, at and, that time. Yeah, and he basically was like, you're scaring him. All right. Because I was. Right. Like right. me, when Nas was in the crack house, I was like, nigga. Crack house is the studio, guys. Yeah. And this is when we was high. Yeah. I'm high as fuck. Exit seat out. Out. Right? Yes. Exit seat out. Right. And I'm sitting there. Guy used to be like this. I'm like, he got them dicks. Let me get one. 
<laughs> grinding, grinding my teeth. <laughs> right, so I'm telling, I'm telling motherfuckers. You missed out, nigga. I'm telling Nas, nigga. We gonna, I said we gonna get three tour buses. We gonna wrap you, Ja, Ashanti. Mm. And I said we gonna hitch some Ro- a Rolls Royce, a Ferrari, a Bentley to the back of the b- tour bus. Mm. This is when he was like, okay, I'm not f- fucking with these niggas. Mm. And I said, Joe, we, we hit Baltimore, right? So we got to show in Baltimore tonight. Before we go to the show, we're going to hit the hood. And I said, we're going to ride through. Because I was like, yo, hood niggas is going to go crazy. Imagine, nigga, me, Nas, Ja, fucking Ashanti. And we pulling up in Rolls Royces and eating fried chicken mm. in the hood. Uh. That's a well, moment. everywhere in Baltimore is the hood. Oh, right, but that's a moment. Yeah. You just walk outside your hotel. Anyone who, who gets a glimpse of that is never is never forgetting that. Right, it's true. It's changed almost. So Nas was like, yo... I hear you, but damn, you sound just like him right now. <laughs> he was like, "No, he was like, I hear you, but what if we get killed being in the hood like that?" Uh, this is when I lost. Uh, I said, "If we get killed, I said, then we martyrs, nigga." I gotta feel it. Yeah, you'd have lost me too. I believe. Yeah, that's I said, yo, then we martyrs, nigga. And the fuck. Because martyrs mean like blow yourself up, right? That's what I'm no, martyrs just means you die. Like you die. Yeah, 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 yeah. You scared legendary. me too. Yeah. yeah. And you was on ecstasy at the time? Just, yeah. Just, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, that sounds like You probably meant it too. You said, like, yeah. ecstasy, death wish. Nigga, let's just die. I was like, <laughs> like I'm bad, man. But blow me up first. <laughs> Give me the glow sticks. <laughs> nigga, what I was talking about would have been some once in a lifetime legendary shit. Right. No. Oh, Just imagine for one second you pull up in Miami and we in Dade County or we in, you know what I'm saying? Opalaka or whatever, mm. eating some fucking po' boy or some shit mm. like that. Mm. And it's Nas, Rule, Ashanti, Gotti, and niggas, we got fucking Rolls Royces. And not only that, but we at uh, the arena tonight. Mm. Niggas, it, I was just trying to... I was just trying to do something that's never been done before. Yeah. And I said, yo, we're going to have security. It's right, going right. to be 50 niggas. Uh. Niggas want to get nasty. We get nasty. So this nigga was looking. He was, <laughs> yeah, I lost him. All right. I was like, then we martyrs, nigga. All right. And the nigga ruled backing me up. He ruled smoking a blunt. He said, hell yeah, fuck that. Ready to ride. Yeah, rule, rules with me a thousand percent. He was like, nigga, fuck death. Uh, we, ain't, we, ain't, we ain't even worried about that. That's when I lost him. Yeah, sounds sounds like yeah. y'all got a little too deep. <laughs> yeah, we... I was taking this rap shit too far. <laughs> I ain't bad at that. And this is after the indictment, after they rushed your um, offices? It's after or it's before, prior? I forget the time frame. It's right. before. You beat the motherfucking feds. Let's make some noise, man. Let's make some noise, man. Yeah, no, nobody beat the motherfucking feds. Nobody beats the feds. When you when you looking at the Young Thug case from the information that you you know, what are you thinking? I feel for Thug because the, I don't think the people around him is, was built for it. Right, but Kevin Lyles put up a man. He said he put up a man for his bail. That's because three hundred is in the. In the shitter right now, man. His whole, you know, Gunna came back out there and, you know, Gunna put some music out and they get money. But, you know, he misses, he misses Thugger, yo. He need Young Thug. He, he was a special artist. Hell yeah. I like Thugger. Right. You know what I'm saying? I like Thugger. You met him? I met him before, yeah. Okay. I met him before and uh, I like the dude. Okay. Like, I like Thugger. But besides Thug, who's a young artist you would like to work with that's out there popping? Lola Brooke? I don't really know, man. You don't know? Lil Dirk? He ain't really new. There's no artist that, like, gets me going that I'm like, oh, my God, I want to hear music from this nigga. Mm. Except 
Laser. That's your new artist? I'm telling you, his uh, his and who, who he now the EP and the soundtrack. He's on he's featured on the soundtrack. Um on the soundtrack to the movie. And who 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 does he remind you of? What kind of artist? Him. Huh. But you know, he sang, he rap. Mm. This guy's a monster talent. Wow. That makes hit fucking records. Oh, he, he like Lauren Hill, but the guy version. He, something like that. Mm. Missy, Missy but, Elliott. But, but Lauren Hill. Or Drake. Like, Drake. Lauren Drake Hill. Raps. Drake. Right. He's going to get the Drake comparison. All right. All right. For sure. You think Drake is the biggest artist in the game? 100%. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But. What? what kind of sign language is no, going on here? No, listen, I think Drake. Oh. <laughs> I think Drake is the biggest artist, the best artist in the world. <laughs> yeah. But, but here's the but. I do think it's time for some for another for up. someone else. Is Murder Inc. the hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yo, Boris, roll up some more. Boris, I got, I got more over here. We'll take a um, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'll go when you come back. But is it bigger than Hov? Is Drake bigger than Hov right now? Uh, no. Hov is, Hov is the Rolling Stones. So I just asked you if Drake is the biggest. Hove- I don't view Hove like how I do view Drake. Drake still makes music. Hove right. making no music. When he feels like it. Yeah. Hove you, and, you don't think he got Young Guru in, in the back of Malibu right now? Last time I spoke to Hove, he said, God, I gave it, gave it all I had. <laughs> he has it, but that, I, that I, I, I believe he said that. I'm out. Why, 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 did, why did he say that to you? I think he's tired of tried, fucking making. You tried to get him on the soundtrack or something? No, I, didn't, I wasn't asking for nothing. He just was letting me know like he's gave it all he's got. Wow. I wasn't, I I wasn't asking him for nothing. All right. Did he call you say, yo, congrats on the 100, nigga? You close? No. No. <laughs> you might not even know about this. No, <laughs> shit. This Jay, ain't like, information. Jay ain't like right. that, though. Yeah, yeah. True. Yeah. Nah, he ain't, he ain't calling you up to congratulate you. When he see me, he'll maybe like, right. mm-hmm. Nice. Or something like that, but he ain't calling me up just to congratulate on me on getting some money. No. Question. On, like, since we're talking about the congratulation, do you still want to sign new artists? And you still want to. He said he got new artists. When they're special and they make me feel it? That's the way. Okay. That's all. Yes, and I'm still magical in the studio. Okay, you got you got a new artist. You can sign to one record label. Who you going to first? Mm. As your distributor or whoever. They signed to you. The artist is signed to you. Sure. But you got all, the, all these labels right now. Who you going to? A real good one. Universal Republic would be the easiest choice. Okay, Universal Republic. That's where Drake is on. Uh, that's yeah. Interscope falls under that Def Jam falls under that Would you consider them The best right now? Mm. I'm always gonna be Partial to Def Jam yeah, I always would be Love murdering Def Jam right. It just is right I love the original Def Jam I say the original Excuse me Let me, let me not say the original Because that's not the original But the the, 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 the the regime that I was a part of Kevin Lyles Leo Combs Julie Greenwald Fat Kevin Lyles Yeah, 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 yeah. Fat Kevin Lyles yes, yes, the difference Yes, the difference The difference uh, Chubby Kevin Lyles uh, Julie Greenwald Mike Kaiser uh, 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 Leo Combs I said, right? Uh, 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 Rob Love Sam Cresco like, th- those, Sam all, Cresco, yeah. all of that Regime was my favorite. Kathy, uh, Leo's assistant, yeah, yeah, yeah. like all of that, that regime. Like I literally could do whatever the fuck. Randy Acker, Randy Acker's a part of that. Randy Acker's a Shout part of Randy. A, a drink champs as well. Uh, that was my favorite regime as a record label. You said Rob Love. I said Rob Love. I did say Rob Love. I said Sam Cresco. I forgot who else. I'm, I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting a couple of other people. Uh, Shante Bacon. Uh, uh, Gabby Palusa. Gabby, I forgot. Um, Gabby. Um, damn. Who else? Um. Shit, that whole regime was that one of your? Shanita Floyd. Okay, was that one of your favorite regimes, or what yeah, is yeah, your favorite? Absolutely, regime? that was my one yeah. of my favorite. Yes, you would get that budget cut open. Tar Mascaris. Yeah, 
Todd Todd Moskowitz. He's, he's a part of um 300 now, right? They're all a part of no. Yeah, he he got a he got a check. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was on the list of the people who got checks. All right, all right. Holy moly, guacamole, man. Shit, man. What else? You got something? I always bring it up every time you've been on, but I'll uh. I'll keep reiterating so I get more information. The Murder Inc. as a group, J A X and Ja. I probably keep asking the same question. Did you guys have a bunch of records recorded? No records recorded. None recorded. Because I got some as a mixtape DJ. I got some dats sent to me, labeled as that with some freestyles. Was that? The extent of it. Those freestyles ain't the murder ring shit. Right. The murder ring shit was just something that I wanted to do because JX and Ja was like my brothers. All right. So it wasn't about money for me. It wasn't about the, it was about me, JX, Ja getting in the studio and serving niggas. That's all it was about. And what, what was the closest you got to actually seeing that through? Or was it never really going to happen? X was with it. Ja was with it. J wasn't with it. I tried two times to make that album happen. X was with it. J ja was with it. Why do you think J didn't want to be that one? This is just my opinion, right? Just my opinion. I don't think Jay wanted to get in that room with X and Ja. It would not. One more than the other or Listen, no. both? No, both. Both. Jay is a very smart person. He's going to do an album with R. Kelly. Hmm. R. Kelly worships Jay-Z. Uh, worships him. And Kanye West. Kanye West worships Jay-Z. And Jay Electronica. They all worship the nigga. X and Ja don't worship Jay-Z. Right. You're my man. But when that beat comes on, you're not above me getting at you, nigga. Mm. And that's what I do not feel Jay wanted to deal with. Right. He didn't want to deal with <laughs> and fucking Ruben! coming at you know. And I'm 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 saying these niggas they would come at each other subliminally. Uh-huh. So it wasn't a direct hit where they're gonna say your name and thing. But these niggas they coming at you. All right. So do I want to make a whole album with these niggas coming at me? And if I'm Jay-Z, there's a slight chance that, what, is niggas going to say I'm not the nicest nigga? Uh. That's what I'm... Uh. Right. That's what I'm... It's not worth it. Uh. Where's, where's my win? Right. The only thing I'm seeing with this is potential loss. But now people are saying, these niggas is better than you. Uh. All right. Who do you think that won that battle between X and J? That, that famous battle that everybody talks about. Well, the famous battle, they say that J won, but it's an asterisk next to it because J finished his rhyme and broke out. He didn't give X a chance to respond. Oh, he didn't respond. To Remember how that part of the story? Jay's rhyme at the end of the rhyme, he says, yeah, he says something, something, I'm back to the block, I'm out. That was the end of his rhyme, and then he breaks out to everyone going, oh, and that was it. So, X, so X hates that shit because X is like, yo, you didn't give me a chance to respond. But they did go back and forth prior to that. I think, yeah. Okay. But then in the last rhyme, Jay says, I'm going back to the block. I'm out. I'm out. And that was like the mic drop back there. Mic drop. So a lot of people said Jay won the battle, which incenses X. All right. Did you, um, 
you know, I know this is like kind of heavy be- uh, on you because we spoke about it um, last time he was on here, like, you know, the funeral and you're speaking about his death and how the family felt. Like, um, how have you been dealing with, you know, because um, you had a part to do with discovering DMX. So how have you been doing with, you know, the demise of, of him? How, how, how have you been coping with it? I think about X all the time in my L.A. house. Before you walk into my room, I got this huge DMX poster. Wow. Yeah. So I think about X all the time. Uh, he was you know. he was really my friend and my man. All right. He used to always with me. We used to always laugh, have fun, good times. All right. I I know we spoke about it last time, like um. But did y'all do you and X ever talk about like the fact that he like went at Ja Rule on that record? X don't like no rappers. <laughs> He's a true MC. Yeah, that's what I believe that. <laughs> but it's love. He's a true MC. He, well, he he's gonna go. Yeah. That's it. No, he don't. He don't like you if you rapping. Uh, he, he he don't he don't like you. I ain't gonna lie. I think he liked me more when I stopped rapping. Right. <laughs> when I became a podcast, I'm thinking I became his home, like his brother, home. brother. Right. <laughs> you rapping? <laughs> well, not even not the first time you were a podcaster. Yeah. That time he was a little suspect. Right. 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 Well, no, no. You talking about the first time when we the had a first time in the lobby? Well, you hung out with him, but yeah. the actual platform he was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because he, 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 he thought it was a jail. He's like, what's a pod? But after it. Like, pod, pod. I was like, no, nah, nigga, the podcast. Like, you know, pod is in jail. I'm like, no, nigga, you're home. You just, <laughs> relax. <laughs> nah, but he, he, he don't like, he don't like, right? All right. He, 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 that's why I used to try and tell everyone. So he used to always say, with well, job, leave it alone, Gotti. All right. Let us, let, let us scrap. All right. He said, sometimes you got to let the pits fight. He went on verses with Snoop Dogg. Like, he, 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 what, what, with Timberlands on, too. Whoever you He had on Timberlands. Whoever you want. Uh, he wanted me to just leave it alone and let them fight. And I'm like, I'm not leaving alone, X. I said, yo, y'all are my brothers. This shit is stupid. And I said, you know that nigga don't sound like you. He says, Gotti, if another motherfucker thinks Holla Holla is my record, I'm gonna, <laughs> he said, I'm gonna bite him. <laughs> Because people used to come up to him and say, yeah. I love your record, how? Hold on, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Another nigga says it, I'm biting him. Right. <laughs> I used to be like, yo, ex, man. Him and Job, uh, I'm got together. They were, I, what? I him, and, in the same him and Job, before they got... Famous. Famous used to battle niggas together. Right. Heard Tear you. niggas up. Job and X on a... On the cypher, battling niggas, it was a problem, yo. Because they would go like one after the other. All right. So X would fucking clean your clock, and right when he finished, then Rule would come clean your clock. I was like, and they was, where was Mike Geronimo at this time? He was around. Okay. The funny, the funny thing is, Mike Geronimo was the guy. Yeah. Because he was on. Yeah. He was on before everyone else was on. All right. A lot of people thought he was the next nine. Lost, a lot of the people. first time you heard a lot of these people was on Mike Geronimo records. Oh, yeah, that's true. It's time to build. Yeah, that's true. I mean, if Mike would have just stayed with me and not bugged out on me, right. I think his career would be way different. All right. But he bugged out. By wanting to get beats from Puff? That just disrespected me and... I'm like, nigga, I'm the nigga who made Israel. I'm the nigga who did everything and put you on. Why are you shitting on me? But isn't that every artist, though, Gotti? Like, not every the- stupid ass artist. That, like, like, <laughs> like. But couldn't that be young mistakes, too? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. listen, man. Growing pains? Listen, the, the complete opposite side of the spectrum is Ja Rule. All right. When I start fucking with Ja, and he's like, nigga, God, he fucking with me. I that's all. Fuck it, whatever you, whatever you say. But what I'm saying is, every artist kind of starts out with the hood management, and then they grow on to like a, a Mark Pitts, a Steve Style, a Chris Lighty. You know what I mean? You don't think that was attributed to that? No. Okay. It was attributed to Mike. Was Mike being Mike? Okay. I think the main, the main thing with Mike is catch what I'm about to say. 
some people don't really want to be stars. Mm. Again, when I met Mike, I met Mike at a Bayside talent show. Yeah. Yo, you want to make a record? All right. So this nigga didn't really, really know what he was doing. Didn't really, really know if he wanted to make a record. He didn't really know nothing. And what was wrong with that? From your perspective? He should have told me no. Because now I move... And wow, I knock it out the park on the first go with It's Real. You're on now. We get a deal. You're on. TVT, Blunt Records. TVT, Blunt Records. You're on. And I don't think he wanted it. So he flipped on me. When you, you think... Flip back. When you think about it, no, that's what made me get Ja and Cash Money Click. Mm. I said, I have no future with this nigga. So I was just like, yo, who? <laughs> and my man, Chris Black, he's he's a drug dealer. He used to sell drugs on two fifth and Hollis. And he was my man. I didn't know Ja. He said, yo, he said, yo, I rap. I said, nigga, you sell drugs, nigga. You can't go out there. But it's, it went hand in hand. Uh, yeah, but, but I didn't respect him. I didn't respect him as a rap guy. All right. All right. He said, and then he's laughing. He said, nah, I'm in a group. I got I got some other niggas. I said, let me meet him. I'm at 01, and I'm at Ja. And when Ja opened his mouth... No. Yeah. Was he loud? Hey, baby! <laughs> his oh. voice, so there's just no, uh, there's no denying it. All right. All right. There's no denying Ja's voice. My nigga. The big baritone, and he's like, what the fuck, nigga? All right. So we made... For my click And then get the fortune Shot the videos Did you ever step to baby And be like Yo you know You, you took cash money from me It's nah, about the Nah You never Come on You I, you got petty in you Come on <laughs> Come on guy you, you, It was in your back of your mind When you seen this nigga With well, the star no, back in his head They were already yeah, named yeah, that before yeah, yeah. Right They already had the name Before you met them nah. No Cash money click was out before yeah. Cash money brothers <laughs> A cash money record. No, I'm saying John them already had the name, or you, when you got with them, you made the name. N no, they had the name. Right, that was they shit. Right. So it's Jah who think he he owns the publisher. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna Facetime this nigga right now. When you you ever get your royalties? Look on. <laughs> no, no, that's funny as hell, man. What, what's what's on your ride? If a person wants to book you to uh to for, to uh. To, to host a, a show I ain't, you, I ain't even gotta ride it You ain't gotta ride <laughs> it? I have to make one <laughs> what, what, what would be on your ride if Did you, Mr. Lee send you that question? No, no, no <laughs> What would be on your ride if you I don't know A bucket of chicken Some juice What kind of chicken? Grilled chicken? Grilled Gotta be grilled Probably fried Oh <laughs> He's been saying it the whole episode uh, Fried chicken? Original recipe, KFC. Oh, KFC? Damn, KFC? Oh, I should have asked you that. Popeyes or KFC? Yeah, so I like KFC. Y'all never KFC? had Pioneer in LA? Original Who? Pioneer in the I, West Coast. I fuck with churches. Pioneer was the shit. Ch no, um, I'm with that. Churches is good. I fuck with churches. Popeyes is good. Yeah, churches. The reason, why churches, in LA, the reason why churches was finger licking good is because they never gave you a fork. How about that? <laughs> but who ate who ate that with a fork? No, I'm just saying. That's why you like. Yeah, but you know, know, other places you go to KFC, they give you a fork. They, do they? Yeah, and they had they, and they had a spork, a spork, a spork, a spork, the, the, the knife and fork. Yeah, I found out that I found out in a couple of these places they put pork in their coleslaw. They had a line out here. Pork in their coleslaw. What the fuck kind of shit is that? Uh, foul. That's what type of shit is that? Foul. Lee pork, Bugatti. Yeah. Teach it on. <laughs> Chicharron The fried With the long thing And you dip <laughs> oh, you oh, And I don't even say You dip it in avocado <laughs> <laughs> And you That's, dip it in avocado Yo, have you seen these, these guys on Instagram You know what I mean You know you, you, you Chicharron It's like a challenge They're doing on Instagram It's horrible Hold on, hold on I got I got, I got a serious one for Gotti huh? got, Hold on, hold on, hold on Hold on, hold on, hold on Chicharron Hold on yeah. <laughs> So again, another one that I've been asked you a couple, every time you came on, the connection or or not the connection when you Jay Prince and Shug yeah. were going to create that movement, whatever it was going to become. Do you feel that that's part of 
Why the feds also came in on you? Could have. Could. I don't know for sure, but definitely could have because it was some powerful shit. Huh. We we used to meet at the Lamitage. The Lamitage, I know that. And Lamitage was like a popular hotel. And when I say when people used to come in and see me, Suge, and Jay Prince, they was shook. I imagine. But it wasn't. It was. It was a union. Like like a SAG type of union you guys wanted to create? Yeah. It was all Suge. Really? Suge is brilliant. Right. So he was like, music artists deserve a union. He said, you know, put up some money for them with an annuity, mm. uh, get their medical and dental. And he had the nigga who started the baseball union. Man. He's going to put it all together. So it wasn't distribution. That's what we've heard a lot about. See, I would have took that idea that y'all had, but I would take it from Chuck D. I just wasn't giving Shug my money. Like, I'm not, like, you know what I mean? Like, the union. What I mean? <laughs> it wouldn't be like it was, it would be you guys, it, you guys would just prop it up and it would be right. its own entity. Because we need that now. Chuck D is probably doing something similar to that. I don't know if you They're know. trying to do Music it. needs a union. Yeah. yeah. Now, Shug was like, we'll take 10% of whatever budget and just put it on their budget. See how, see if, if Chuck D would have said that, it would have sounded so good. But with, with Sugar, it sounds with like Sugar Knight, I'm, I'm not. I'm not <laughs> what do you think's going on over here? But no, but the 10% goes into, into the payment. To the payment. Into your... It goes to the union. Right, right, right. So if you have a budget, Nori has a budget with Def Jam of a million dollars. Yes. So now you, it's a million one. Right. Def Jam cuts 100,000 to very the smart. union, but Nori has to That's, recoup yeah. 1.1. Mm, nah, that's that's fair. Right, but that's now fair. he gets the benefits right. of that extra that hundred thousand. Right, that's that's fair. Not to mention unions has also been a racket also used by the mob forever. Hey man, I mean, I was like, <laughs> I'm with it. I'm from New York City, man. I mean, it is what it is. I'm uh, saying it. I'm I, just saying. I, I I was like, I wasn't mad that it never happened because I was like, it's sounding like it's going to be too. Too, too much money, uh, and a and lot Nick, of eyes on you to and break niggas it up. controlling it. Could could you with this union? Could you have stepped to to Jay to get down with this? And or Jay would have been like, "Fuck Jay that." Jay would have had to get down. Mm. Damn, it sounds very harsh, got it. Jay would have got down because Jay would have seen the bigness of it. I think Jay would have got down. But let, let me ask you: and but artists that wouldn't get down. But was it, was it, when you guys thought of it? It wasn't going to be good. Gotti, listen to me. When you guys thought of it, was it completely f honest intent just for the industry's benefit? Like for yes. the artist's benefit? Yes. Not, not how y'all could benefit off it, but for the entire. Yes, it was, it was, came from a, a honest place and it came from a great place. And this is how we're going to benefit the artist with the money that is accumulated in the annuity. So now when they retired and they're not... Damn, imagine if it would have happened back then, you how think about differently it. things would have been. That's the way no, once you're saying something like annuities, like you know yeah. that how that serious the intent was to create that legit yeah. Yeah. union. Yeah, but at the same time, I'm openly saying if we got the whole pop, rock, hip-hop... R &B. For music in general, right. all genres, cross genre. You know how much money that that'll be? It'll be in the probably hundreds of millions of dollars. Right. And you telling me you're not gonna get down? Some niggas is running it. That's what I was right, saying. it would have been that's broken up. That's some fake, yeah. Which is why I asked you if the if that's a reason why. Could be. I don't know. Could be. I don't know. So, so let me ask you something. Earlier, you said the guy Francois was his name. Francois from AP. Pumpkin. AP. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. <laughs> I'm gonna leave with Francois. So y'all used to play a poker game together. Your poker game. Get out of here. You still playing poker? I love poker. Yeah. We gotta have a celebrity poker game. No, no. no. Yeah, yeah. I play P we four cards PLO now. Oh, you're not playing Texas Hold'em? I I could still play it. We but. love it. I mean, I'm rusty, but we can we yeah, run that. Yeah. We can run that. What? Uh, you, Hello? We can play it right now. 
Yeah, yeah. Bring you you play high level though. Yeah, well, he's in the hundred oh, million play. bracket. <laughs> 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 I could play whatever level they playing. Right. Give me because because it was a big rumor at one point. It was a big rumor at one point. You and your brother was like notorious gamblers. Like it was like in the city that y'all was throwing these high level, you know, poker games. Bitches rubbing shoulders like tootsies. I ran a, but I no, ran a poker. Yeah, game. you ran. That's what I'm saying. You ran a poker game. That sounds <laughs> and some of the baddest bitches working there. What is what, celebrities that you could, you could, you could talk about? No. Oh no. Celebrities. Like they played in the game. Oh, yeah. We ran a poker like game. Don Cheeto. <laughs> Don Cheeto. Uh, Fab used to play. Fab. Fab. F A B L. Fab could play. Fab See, you need to like. televise that on the network. Fab, Fab you need to do that televised. Right. Because that's just big when it's Who televised. Else? Uh, what's what's Spider Man? What the fuck is his name? Spider Man. That's your boy. Toby. Toby. Toby, Toby get high. Uh, Todd Phillips he's Oh The director Okay He could play He's good He people like Nick Paul Cassidy. Pierce Paul Pierce for sure Okay uh, Nick Cassavetti Kevin Hart Okay You know a lot of good, It was a lot of A lot of good people uh, We gotta do a drink chance Okay So okay. let me just, We're gonna sign on this one Ecstasy or Molly It's the same shit no, it's not. Molly's the remix of Ecstasy. Molly's the remix of Ecstasy, but well, Molly, Molly got fentanyl on there sometimes. Molly is like supposed These niggas to be out here taking pure fentanyl. Pure Ecstasy. Yeah. yeah. Right. Not no more. After COVID, these niggas taking fentanyl. You gotta watch out. You, ain't, you, ain't, you don't fuck around no more. Let's make some noise for God. This is a funny question. Let me do it anybody else. Will you come to my house? And I mean <laughs> <laughs> it's a study question. Oh, sorry, guys. And I need this for me. <laughs> Your setup is crazy. Out of bounds. A woman older than you? What, what do you think about that? You've been around. Really? Been you around. said you went. I want to know. What, is, what does he feel? If I would get with an older woman? Yeah. Older than. With older a, than with him? A, with a walking stick. Older than you? That's what he does. I'm 53. Look. That's never going to happen. Never going to happen. I'm 53. So what? For him, 63. Fuck you mean, so what? Hold on, I'm just saying. Like, I'm 53. You saying get, you saying Irv got to go get with a, a nice Damn 55. Grip. Grip. That's, that's teenager for him. 55? What? Never. Sonny's never. Young guns. guns. That's it, guys. <laughs> Jesus, Sonny. I just had to ask What a question. terrible setup for that. Because if I do it, I have a question for you, I know, man. Congrats, congrats on this movie, my brother. Hey. Um, yes, yes, man. Hey, let me give you the dates. August 18th is when the TV series uh, documented. Tales? The behind the scenes of the movie, no. the behind, making of the movie. The oh. making of the movie, the, seeing how we picked the, the starring role for the movie. And what is this premiere on? You, August 18th. YouTube? 18th. On Monetize. Monetize. Monetize is a new streaming service. Mm, you ain't tell us that. Right. That, I'm so glad I'm getting to it now. Mm -hmm. Listen, Monetize is something all your listeners mm -hmm. is going to love. We're going to monetize that shit. I'm getting into No, listen, listen. Why Monetize is so dope, they figured out a way you watch the content Mm. You're gonna you're gonna make money. All right. The so it's not like two weeks. The viewer's gonna make you money. as the viewer. You as the viewer have monetized that. You as the viewer click on my TV series. You watch my TV series. Mm. As you're watching, they're gonna trickle money back to you. Mm. That's, hmm. that's dope. So it's not like two weeks. So they're basically rev sharing with everybody, including the viewer. They're rev sharing with everyone. Right. Because basically what it is. Anybody can make a movie on Tubi. Yeah. But basically what it is is commercial ad revenue. When you're watching all of these places like YouTube, anything you click on, you're going to see two, three commercials. Mm. All right. 
monetize has figured out a way with that commercial ad revenue to give a small piece back to the to the person. So that's, is that, is that going to help like the writers because that's what's going on right now. The it's writer strike. Help the consumer. Ooh. And. Wait, the consumers getting paid to watch the movie? Yeah, that's what he's saying. Yes. But it's not going to help the writers. The writers are fighting for something else. AI, a bunch listen, of different things. So I, I said to my man Terrell, I said, yo, you sure? You, you doing it? You sure this is? He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, I know my niggas. What? Once, I said, once my niggas get wind that they could make money just watching content on Monetize, all right. they're going to watch it all day. All right. Because they're going to fuck around and make a couple hundred bucks. And as long as the content is worth watching, which is, that's it. You got them. Well, he has, Monetize has all of the movies. and Really? So, yeah, they got everything like other streaming services have. But what I'm giving them is exclusive content all right. that you're only going to see on Monetize. Almost like Patreon, but for movies. You know what Patreon is? Patreon is like a, a interview. Yeah, but that's subscription-based. That's subscription-based. So is this subscription-based or no? I told them do it for free. There is models that you could do it uh, and subscribe and you, you you won't see commercials or whatever. But for the most part, you could get it for free, download it for free, watch it for free. And still make money. Yeah, because okay. it's commercials. Right. Now, now, yeah. now, here's the million dollar question. Or a hundred million. A hundred million dollar question. Excuse me. <laughs> When is this Prime movie coming out that we heard that Leonardo DiCaprio is attached to? We heard Q-Tip has something to do with it. We heard, and who's playing Prime? I forgot who who's playing Prime. I think you already picked it. The guy or whatever. What is, what is happening with this Prime team movie? We're getting the, the caliber of actors and stars. It just takes a lot of time, man. All right. You're still right. casting? Still putting it together. So it's in pre-production still. Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. So uh, when you sit there with Leonardo DiCaprio and someone like Leonardo DiCaprio expresses interest. Right. You gonna make sure it's right. No, he's he also lets you know it's gonna take years to make because I got up the oh, shit. Oh, for him. Right. And is it worth waiting for him? Yeah, I was about to, a great question. It's fucking Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> right. All right. Leonardo DiCaprio in a black gangster movie like Supreme Team takes it completely over the top. But what would be his role? He would be a director? Law enforcement. Oh, no, no. no. So, it, I, I mean, that's just... But uh, what I'm saying is, I guess my question I'm asking is, is he behind the scenes in, in this movie too? No, he's... Or just, a, he's just, just a attached as an actor. Okay, just an actor. Okay. He probably, if he wants to produce it and get a producer credit, he could take it. All right. You know? But, you know, what are you going to do? All right. You got to sit there and try and play that out. All right. Well, man, we hope you produce that movie. That's the movie I want to see. All the documentaries about Prem, all the, the things about Prem. I think uh, I think a full-fledged, docu- uh, full-fledged movie yeah, uh, about th- that whole experience, that whole thing. It changed oh, not only Queens; it changed ev- everything. It's you know, part of hip hop history it, it, too. It, 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 yeah, yes, yes. And um, so, man, man, I, I, I hope everything goes out. I hope you spend every fucking dollar that fucking hundred million. <laughs> August 18th, yes. documented. We made it in America TV series. October 6th, monetize. October 6th, it's in theaters. Okay. Theaters? We're going theatrical. No, that's yes. for the... Oh, okay. For the movie. For the movie. Okay. And probably a month after in theaters, it'll be on Monetize. Okay. Okay. Only on Monetize. Exclusively not on, on Monetize. Not on Apple, not on Spotify, maybe Title. No. Monetize. Exclusively Monetize. Okay. Obviously, Monetize, Monetize, Tim. God damn, it's Monetize, Monetize. <laughs> Monetize the monetization. Monetize the picture. Come on, let's go, baby. (laughs) Hell yeah.